Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Let me adjust my camera angle, get a better shot. There we go. You got your buddy, your friend in comics. You all know Gorilla Todd with Gorilla Todd Comics. It's great. I see the chat is already popping and hopping. Uh, we haven't been on for 25 seconds, and there's already 13 people watching. That is freaking amazing. I love you guys and ladies. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing started, but uh, you know it's great to see everybody. We got a we got a, a killer pan. I got a killer panel lined up tonight. You got some new faces on the Gorilla Todd comic bonanza, which is always a good thing. It's always good to see some new faces and mix it up a bit. And I know they're gonna bring some awesome comic books to your eyes, to your to your, potentially to your collection. So let me go ahead without any further ado, and I'm gonna bring them in the first. First, we have uh, Jal and Jay. What's up, my friend? You got on mute. You're muted. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. My kid was over here screaming at me, so I didn't know. <laughs> well, welcome back to, to, to my channel. Good to have you on again. Yeah, more fun to be had. Excellent, excellent. I see you got some cool, you got a cool pop collection behind you, huh? Cool. Well, yeah. Those are my wives. Oh. Have That's, cool. Put them. That's cool that you guys both collect stuff. Awesome. And then we got making his debut on the Gorilla Todd comic bonanza. We got Ken with French Quarter Comics. Welcome. Good to have you. Thank you. It's great to be here, Todd. I've been looking forward to this all week. Uh, Gorilla Todd Show is always a great, great auction, good books, uh, and as you said, it's always good to get some new faces and new books in the mix here, and uh, yeah, I hope we get three people what they want. Yeah, definitely mix it up. Last thing we want to do is keep showing the same comic book over and over again. That gets a little stale, even though sometimes they're books we love. But it's great to have you, and glad you're here too, man. I appreciate it. No problem. And finally, you know, we got we got newbies but we got to bring an old heavy hitter we got to bring a pillar of the gorilla todd comic bonanza bringing his fresh baked cookies what's, what's up gt man? good to see you this evening my brother hope Sad. vegas is doing well over here on the east coast we are living large having a beautiful beautiful summerish day even though it's not summer yet it is feeling that way so i am Loving the vibe. Good to see my brother's French on here and the rookie of the year, Jalen, who was muted just like a rookie would do, just trying to troll everybody. <laughs> so we appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us on tonight, Gorilla Todd. And as the man said, we're going to get the show started and have a good night. So thank ladies and gents, get your popcorn. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Sans. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I appreciate each and every one of you in the chat, all 19 people that are watching so far. We're going to do the, the 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 necessary part of the auction. I'm going to go over the rules. We're going to try and make this quick. I know most of you know the rules, but 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 we gotta we gotta be clear and lay them out. First rule always: eight, you got you need to be you must be. It's not a need; it's a must. You must be 18 years of age or older to bid or claim any item on this auction from any seller. You must be 18 years of age or older to bid or claim any item on this auction. Okay, that's the first rule. Other than that, we're gonna run a two and a half minute timer for the auctions, okay? The, each seller will have an opportunity to describe their what they're selling and what they're, what they're offering. They may show you a couple buy it nows and then they'll move into their auction item. Um, you know, they'll have, a few, they'll have a few minutes, they'll describe what they have in whatever terms, and once the auction, once the, they show the auction item and describe it, we will start a two and a half minute timer. Um, when, during the duration of that two and a half minutes, if we only have one single bidder on the item and the two and a half minute, minute timer elapses, we will drop an end line. All the auctions are, are begin and end with a start line and they end with an end line. So all bids need to be after the start line and before the end line. Sometimes bids happen before the start line. They don't count. And sometimes bids happen after the end line. They don't count. So if we have a single bidder that we hear the buzzer, I will drop the end line. There is somewhat of a delay between the buzzer and the end line uh, popping up in the chat. It It's just 
lag and whatnot. It's not a perfect system, but it's the best we can do. Um, and there's no sniping because there's no other bidder. So that person wins the auction for whatever the value of their bid was. In a case of we have two bidders or multiple bidders, more than two or more in an auction and the buzzer rings, the timer, the timer, the two and a half minute timer elapses, we will continue bidding because we want to give everybody a fair opportunity to get to, to win the item. Okay. I don't, I don't want to have sniping happen on the auction. So, you know, somebody may be, if there's no bidders, they may roll the dice and try to get that bid in right before the timer. You may get lucky. You may not. You know, sometimes I drop the end line and a bid comes in split seconds before that end line. If that happens, if there's a bid, one bidder, and a bid comes in split seconds before the end line and it shows up before the end line in the StreamYard chat that I'm looking at, the bid counts. The end line gets negated. Okay, so I want to make sure I have clearly explained that situation because it does happen from time to time. I don't want anybody to have any hurt, be disappointed, or, or, or feel like they got... The short end of the straw, that's not the case. You know, there's a rule in place for just about every situation. Um, so multiple bidders, you just keep bidding till there's one bidder left. On sometimes if if the bidding has taken a little bit of a time, you know, sometimes things get a little pricey and, and there's a lot of thought into the bids. If we haven't heard from somebody in a in a and the bid has gone up quite a bit, or and we haven't heard from them in a little while there may be a case where we have to do a, like a 20 or 30 second dusted timer and, and, you know, somebody may get dusted in the sake of they, they're not having their opportunity to bid, but they also haven't, you know, the, we, we can't assume, you know, who knows people get knocked off. They get bandwidth issues, you know, uh, they fall asleep, they get into other auctions, things happen and it's all good. Um, but you know, it's just, we got to keep the, we got to keep the, the train rolling. Um, as far as bidding, all you need to do is type a whole number into the chat and that will be construed as a bid. That'll be understood to be a bid. Um, if it, you know, sometimes there's obviously sometimes people, uh, want to play a game and bids look kind of silly. And, you know, so we trolls get identified really quickly and, and we have awesome moderators that will, will handle that. So, you know. Sometimes I will ask for a verification on a bid and, and just, you know, you just do, you know, just say, yes, it was a bid and that's good. You know, and I know most of you, so, you know, that's not really too much of an issue. I'm just throwing it out there for the sake of anybody who's brand new to the, to the, to the channel. Um, so whole number bids, what, bidding is in $1 increments until we get to a hundred dollars or a hundred and, and more. We're in $5 increments. Um, if you have been bidding and you've decided it's just gone beyond what you're willing to spend or your price, you can and you want to fold, please let us know that you want to fold because it's assumed that you're still interested in the auction. If you bid and you were the high bidder, you know, I'm gonna I'm going to honor that and look for your fold. Underbids, I don't count underbids because then it's basically like, you know, you can throw an underbid in. Wait to see what it tops out at and decide if you want to buy it or not. And I just don't feel like that's really a forthright way to run the auction. Auction, And that's just my opinion. Um, so I'm not going to really worry about underbids uh, when it comes to dropping an end line. Um, please make sure as far as anything that you win or claim, please, please make sure that you are able to and willing to make payments within 24 at max 48 hours with all the sellers unless you have some kind of pre-arranged or predetermined uh, arrangement and i mean before you actually bid because i don't want to you know we're all trying to get you guys cool books but it, it can be challenging and it's a lot of time it's hard at times it's hard to track down people or you know buyers when all you have is their youtube name you know, I, I have plenty of books that go unclaimed and I have to, re, you know, recycle them back. But it just takes time and effort. And, you know, that's time and effort away I could from, you know, actually handling other stuff that, that would help get you guys your books faster or get you guys better books or more books or different books up here. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but other than that, I think we're, we're good to go. Um, you know, as usual, if you guys... 
got a question, just put it in the chat. We'll do our best to get you squared away. Um, let me let's go ahead and say hello. Let me let me see what's going in the chat. We got Ali Ali Riard first at Waven. Hello, Ali. Good to see you. We got Scarecrow's Comic Asylum saying good evening to everybody. What's up, Comic Man Andy? Good to see you, my friend. Comic Shop Reality. We got Steven Spock in the chat. Simon R. Good evening. How are you doing? Wishing everybody well. What's up, Elvis? Good to see you, my friend. Um, William Albright. Hello. How are you doing? Scarecrow saying what's up to me. Awesome. What's up, T-Pain? How you doing, my friend? Good to see you back in the chat. Hope you're feeling good. Hey, Nola. Good to see you in the chat, Nola. I miss you, my friend. We got to do it. We got to do a, we got to hang out, do a show or something, even if we're just hanging out. I don't know if you're selling these days, but even if we're just hanging out, Nola, let's get together. <laughs> Motley as hell. We may be. We may be. Um, Sansa's on the panel saying what's up to everybody. And we got. We got Lisa dropping the oop no 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 Lisa dropping the the Gorilla Todd logo. Thank you. She's a member of the channel, so she gets access to that to that special emoji. I'm gonna be adding some more emojis to the to the membership, and I'm gonna be adding some perks and 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 additional perks to the existing levels. Um, what's up, Lisa? Always great to see you. <laughs> ooh. Jump. What's up, Joffrey Castro? How are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Doc J. <laughs> Psych Psychoholic Comics. Looks like we, that's a new uh, that's a that's a new name in the chat. Good to see you, Psychoholic Comics. Interesting name. We got Mr. Barlett. Good to see you again, Mr. Barlett. Always good to see you. Uh, Shelby's here. He's here. He actually is running a little late. I see he's popped in, and I got to add him in. So I will do that right now. Because I cannot, I cannot deny you. You're Shelby, Elvis. There's Shelby. Glad you made it. Not, not nearly as late as you said, but even better. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't let you down, old buddy. Okay, man. I, that is great, and I appreciate it. But more than I do, clearly the chat appreciates it. And Elvis uh, appreciates it because you are clearly missed. Oh. Uh, yep. Yep. Card shops here, your old your old uh, customer, <laughs> Ryan. What's up, Doc J? Good to see you. Hunter's issues. How you doing, man? Good to see you. You're 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 working in on the auction crew on my on my Wednesday auction. Good to see you here on Saturday. Okay, man, that sounds good, Nola. Let's 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 make it happen. I'll reach out to you. What's up, Marco? Trying to bring some fire books, definitely, 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 definitely trying to bring you some fire books. I I went digging into the into the archive. I pulled out a couple of slabs of some some big keys that people are looking for right now. Well, I think they've always been looking for, but some stuff that may may whet your appetite. Um, congratulations! I'm glad you won that Spawn 100 giveaway last week. You know, that's that's good stuff. You know, and, and guys, I'll do another uh, Super Chat uh, giveaway this week. I'll figure out what it's going to be. But I'm always, from now on, keep in mind, I'm going to add this, like, little addendum to the way the Super Chats go. Because I did it last week. And I'm like, why not? Because I want to give as much back to the chat as I can. So whatever the books are for the Super Chat, you know how it works. You For every dollar you Super Chat, you get your name on, on the wheel. So if you do it, you Super Chat $1, your name goes on there once. If you Super Chat $10, your name goes on there 10 times. That's pretty straightforward. You know, one $1 equals one name, $5 equals five names. Now, what I will always do from now on is first spin wins the prize. I'll remove that winner. Then I will spin again for a consolation round, and I will give Gorilla Bucks in the amount of at least ten dollars, depending on if if I can give more because more people did the super chat. I'll bump it up, but I'll give at least a ten dollar value of Gorilla Bucks, which you can use with me on any of my auctions, any of my sales, my buy it nows, anything from me. And hopefully, I have enough comics to offer that you can find ten dollars worth of comics to grab, which for most people, I don't think that's a problem. Last week, Kevin 
Bixby won the super chat. He didn't win the super chat giveaway, but he won the consolation. What's up, Agu? Whatever. We'll get you'll get your name on on the wheel for the super chat. I appreciate the one dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Agu. Kevin Bixby, he had won twenty five gorilla bucks on his on my thousand sub giveaway show. He used it to get that that cool black Adam book, and then he won ten more bucks. So he's still got ten bucks to spend. So hey, one more one more way. So before before wasting any more time, I think it's time for an auction. I've been talking long enough, and I think I need to grab some books. I got let's see let's see what I can come up with. I know I put some books in here for a good first auction. Here we go. Four or five. Okay. Let's go with a little indie action. And I got a couple more books to add that aren't indies. If you guys want. So we're going to start this auction at five dollars and i got philadelphia number seven this awesome scotty young cover what's up rico ortega good to see you rico and we got this killer scotty young cover and then i got ice cream man 20 this is the second printing a take off on all the places you'll go. So we got a couple of cool indies. And we will go from there. Got Elvis in at $5. Right off the bat. Thank you, Elvis. So thank you to the 45 people we got watching. I'll just show you. Let's let's start. Let's see. I got a Marvel Special Edition 15. First appearance of Shang-Chi, the Master of Kung Fu. That's an 8-5 in white pages. Okay, so everybody knows he's got a movie coming out. This book is, is getting popular, to say the least. I can do this one. I, I see what people are asking for on, on the, you know, on the bay. So remember, you're paying shipping and taxing. I'll do this one for $1,100 shipped and insured. So when you figure in tax and shipping and all that, you're saving, it's lower than what I see it for on the bay, and you're not paying any tax or shipping other than what's built into the price. So I got that available. Thank you for the $5 Super Chat, Lisa. We will get you entered on the Super Chat giveaway. So right now we got Elvis Lewis at 5 bucks on these two books. We got about 50 seconds left. If... We go to 10. Uh, I got a uh, Art Germ, New Mutants number one. I'll throw in the bot in the in the batch at ten dollars. Thanks, Doc J. I told you I'm gonna, you know, I try to bring you a little bit of everything. You know, a little bit of I try to be well. So at ten dollars, all this is in for ten, that's coming in. I'm not sure what you're asking for, Rico. Those are in the magazines. I, I'm not selling those on YouTube. So that was the timer. So I'm going to drop that end line. 
the the next thing I was going to go up to uh, Elvis, if you wanted a twenty, I had two more books. I have the facsimile New Mutants ninety eight, and this is for an Elvis, uh, the Absolute Carnage number one. This is a seven ninety nine cover, so still be undercover price for everything. If you're interested in that upgrade at twenty, you'd get these two more books. You just let me know. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't oversell it. It's either you know what it is and you know my price is, is a good price or, you know, I know it's not a cheap book, so it's it's not, not everybody is dropping that kind of money on books. But it's available if anybody's interested. Just a 10, you got the others? Okay, Elvis, you got it. You got it. And we will move right over to Jalen. Got a couple of buy nows. ASM one, Chris Kindred, signed by Clayton Crane, nine point eight, two ten, chips. I'm sorry, it's. He said how much? I just because I, I, if I can't hear, I'm assuming it might be a little. Your volume's a little. Two ten chips. Okay, cool. Then I'm twenty seven. First Codex, Delato, 100 chips, 9-8. Silver Surfer 3, First Mephisto, 5-5, five, five, 1150 chips, and insured. Yeah, they're saying they hear a lot of background noise. And the top, they're... I'm just looking at the chat. All right, one second. I'll do a DC art germ. Fat Girl 31. Uh, Batman 108. First, Nero Kamali, Wonder Woman 64, just a cool cover, and Catwoman number four, probably the coolest cover you've ever done. Start at 10 bucks. Okay, we got a $10 starting line. They're all near mid. Straight out of off the shelf into Mylar. Actually, the store I get these at uh, bags and boards them before they even put them out. And they put them all straight into my box. So. There's plenty more. Mm. Bring you the duck yeah, sauce. You don't want it? Mm. Cool. We got Mark and O first at 10. T Pain's in at 15. Marco's in at 16. <laughs> yeah, That's a nice lot. T Pain's in at 17. I have pretty much the entire run of Catwoman Art Down. I pretty much have my LCS just uh, if it comes out and it's play art term, they put it in my box. They order me one specifically. So if you want more art germ, I got plenty. The Venom twenty seven is a hundred bucks and the Silver Surfer three is eleven fifty. Fully insured and ships is included in prices. I wasn't going to help her with 
Okay, we got Marco at 18. We got T Pain at 20. Okay, let's reset the timer. Let's go to Mark 21. T Pain's at 22. We have multiple bidders, so we will keep bidding. Marco's at 23. Ben goes at 25. My mom, as she's waiting to go to trial, she gave me I'm sorry, I didn't realize I, I got muted somehow. <laughs> I, well, that, the end line came. I dropped the end line. T Pain's the winner at 25. Marco folded. So T Pain's taking that down for 25. All right. And we're going to move over to French Quarter. Nice pickup, T Pain. Slot Jalen and yeah, my it's my first auction. T Pain, give me a little latitude if you would. Don't harsh my vibes, man. <laughs> right, good evening, everyone. Uh, for my first round, we're gonna uh, stick with uh, a little bit of DC for the buy it nows. Um, when Batman 100 came out, Tyler Kirkham did an exclusive cover, only 500 copies of this. Uh, Batman 100, it's the uh. Joker punchline and Harley Quinn in her little booty shorts here. I'll do 75 shipped on this. Tyler Kirkham exclusive, only one of 500 copies. I also have for you, since Nola Comics mentioned that he likes cheesecake, uh, I've got a Power Girl number one from a few years back, the Adam Hughes cover. It is autographed by Amanda Connor, who also did uh, a lot of the artwork inside. And uh, it was, this was basically the Adam Hughes and Amanda Connor run of this. Uh, if you check out what this is going for right now, fair market value on Gold Collect, it's really, really uh, going up. Uh, Got to buy it now for $100 shipped on this. And again, that is autographed by Amanda Connor. There's no COA, but. I got the autograph myself at the Dallas Comic Con uh, show back in 2011. Uh, it would certainly be validated by CBCS if you wanted to send it in. And um, both of these are definite 9 8 candidates, this and the Tyler Kirkham Batman 100. Uh, for my auction, I'm going to dial it back a little bit to 2014. And I'm going to offer up the second. 
run of Harley Quinn, her second uh, title. Um, we've got Harley Quinn number zero, Harley Quinn number one, number two, and number three. So you get zero to three of Harley Quinn's second series. These are all in slab worthy 9 8 candidate conditions. And I'm happy to show the spines here in a second. What are we starting the auction at? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this one is going to start at $75. Okay. That's a $75 starting line. We'll get a timer going for you. Got some sweet Harley Quinn books. Fair market value on this lot is about $220 right now, according to GoCollect. So, 75 starting bid. All 98 candidates, Harley Quinn, zero through three. Again, this is the Amanda Connor run from 2014. Great set to have for any Harley Quinn fans, of which there are many, of course. And we're about to get another Suicide Squad movie, which will once again use all the Harley collectibles. So get it now while it is at a bargain price. And again, I will show the buy it now. Power Girl number one. What's up, Ruben Guzman? Good to see you, sir. Noah's asking if you're doing a Amanda Connor purge. You must I be. Saw that. <laughs> Have you been selling a lot of her stuff lately? No, uh, just a couple of lots I've had up. I think he's caught on different shows. I sold a copy of a pro the other night. Got a message from the buyer that they 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 enjoyed it. That was a good one she did. Yeah. Again, this uh this number one, you can look up what this is going for just by itself. Uh, pretty much at the starting line or close to it. Our goose says you can't see the, the bin prices. Okay. Um, on the Tyler Kirkham, the bin was 75 shipped. Again, this is one of only 500 copies. Tyler Kirkham exclusive of Batman 100. 75 shipped. And the Power Girl, autographed by Amanda Connor, is $100 shipped. Okay, sadly, we don't, I don't see any love for Harley right now. It doesn't mean there might not be some later. So if you're interested in those Harley books, definitely hit French Quarter Comics up on IG. Yep. All the panelists' IG information and some of their YouTube channels are in the description, so you can find them there. We will come back to you next round. All right, we'll see you next round. Howdy, howdy. Oh, Good evening, my brothers and sisters. So glad to see everybody out there. I have the world famous pull box here. We got some great uh, hits in here. And we also have a slab card in there. The slab will be this. It is a CGC 9.4 of Amazing Spider-Man 205. The slab card will pull out and it says slab on it. You will win this. The, pu the pulls are six for 25 or 12 for 50. Six for 25 or 12 for 50. All right. So let me know if you want any pulls. Buy it now for this round. I have the High Republic Shadow Variant Mike Mayhew, number four. A bar crisp on the cover. This is 60 shipped. 60 shipped. And we're going to get started this round 
with some Gleason Carnage Black, White, and Red. This is number one, the Virgin. We're gonna start this bad boy off at forty dollars. Forty dollars. We got a forty dollar starting line coming in. What's up, Creamer and Cash? How you doing, Amber? Shout out to my peoples in the chat. Good to see everybody. Drop those cookies, ladies and gents. Sub up your panel members. Crema's in the house. What's up, Lisa, Nola, Card Shop, Steven Spark, my brother's s and Good to see everybody. All right. $40 on the Carnage Vir Virgin. This is an exclusive from Pat Gleason himself. Limited to 2,500 copies of the Webhead goodies. Okay, so we got a $40 starting line for this wicked cool Gleason Carnage cover. Look these up. These are still going for $70 all day, and it's Carnage? That's right. Are we allowed to bid? <laughs> yes, you can bid, my friends. Like the only thing I'm missing right there. Yeah, man. On, as far as bidding, you guys are fine to bid. I always say, like, on the buy and now, just give the, give the chat the, the first opportunity. But if, if a, somebody offers a bid and the round goes by, nobody takes it if you want it, you know? Just send them, send whoever a message or something. So again, look up the web head. This is Gleason, the Virgin, big book all day. We got the polls, five, uh, six for um, twenty-five, or twelve for fifty. There's a couple of nice hits in here. There are, there is a slab in there. So let's get it popping. All right, since we got a bid in there, if we got it up to 90, this would come in. That is your Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one, the convention exclusive. This is the Kale New uh, convention exclusive, limited to, I believe it is uh, 500 or less. So you would get this and this if we got it up to 90. This is a $70 book all day. That's a $75 book all day. A lot of meat on the bone. What you want to do, step right up. Get your carnage goodies. Get your carnage goodies, ladies and gents. Let's see. Oh, by the way, good to see Amber in the chat. If you guys haven't uh, subbed her up on IG, check it out. She has a big, big event with Jim coming up. Yes, that voice actress from Jim and the Holograms is going to be at her shop. Play no games, get with her, and get your stuff signed. That's going to be awesome. You know, I, I'm already on it. All right, ladies and gents, what you want, what you need. Jalen is running away with a steal right here. So, Jalen, if the end line comes in, you do have the option to upgrade to 90. If you want this, just let me know. And you are good to go, my brother. That is the pull box, yes, Warlord. But it looks like, let's see, we got an end line. Jalen is going to take that down for 40. He was the only bidder. So it's up to you. can just work that out in a private message. Perfect. I got you. I think he said he just take the web head. All right, Jalen, it'll be 40 plus nine, my brother, and we are good to go. Warlord, if you're interested in the pull box, just hit me up next round. You can get six for 25 or 12 for 50, and you have a chance at winning this slab within the box, and there's some other great hits in there. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you next round. Oh, one last thing. I have an awesome raffle on my IG. 20 copies of some, excuse me, 19 copies of Something's Killing the Children, number 16, $50 entries, and there's only 25 entries. The value on that whole lot is over $1,600. Look me up if you want to get in. Hit me up on, on IG or drop it in the chat, and I'll hit you up with the information. 
Thank you, Gorilla Todd. Okay, we're gonna move over to Shelby. What's happening, Shelby? What up, Todd? How are you tonight? I'm doing good, man. Just doing the auction, doing our auction thing, working with comics, loving it. Yep, yep. I'm a little. I have to admit, I'm a little tired. Uh, went to a toy show today. Nice. You believe that? Pick any cool bit, cool toys up. I picked up a few. I got this. Uh, I needed this for the collection. Uh, Fantastic nice. Four, Johnny Storm. I have the Human Torch version, but not the Johnny Storm. And um, I also picked up a set of Super Friends sheets from the seventies. Nice. Yeah. So. Daddy's going to be sleeping nice tonight. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> yeah, I needed them to go to uh, go with my um, uh, Super Friends curtains. All right. Uh, I thought I had all four issues. I'm hunting around, but either way, I'm going to start this at $1. Um, these are probably, you know, strong VF. You know, I wouldn't be sending them in to get graded or anything. But it is a series I don't see very often for sale. So this is Alien Music of the Spears. So issue one, issue two, look at that. Little alien coming out. And number three. So like I said, I thought I had all four. I'll, I'll keep searching around. But uh, 1990s, Dark Horse Aliens goodness. Um, series you don't see very often around, uh, probably a lower print run, uh, starting at an affordable $1 aliens music of the spears. I don't know how everybody else feels, but I got to hear that sound effect one more time. Well, well, got to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just sounds like a cat. Look at that. Oh, he's having a bad day. Robert Burke's in at one. Joshua Rodriguez is in at three. This Robert dude, goes to five. This dude's going to try and go ninja on an alien. Hiding behind the corner. Aliens and ninjas, man. What gets better than that? Aliens and ninjas. Aliens, ninjas, and robots. All right. <laughs> so, uh, is this the invoice? No. Let's see if I can find the freaking. Josh is in at seven. Robert's in at, I mean, Josh is in at six. Robert's in at seven. No, I guess, I guess I didn't. No, I guess I don't have issue four. I apologize. I thought I'd gotten all four issues. Maybe the guy had, um, <coughs> or something. No, I don't have issue four. I was just looking, so. Um, I could have swore, uh, this was, this is stuff from my friend in, uh, Atlanta that I told y'all about, and he might've, uh, sold issue four or something before. Yeah, I don't have it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was just looking at the, uh, list he sent me and it does not show issue four. So I apologize. You're welcome to retract your bid if you'd like. Um, you know, if that goes for anybody, if you know, since it's not a complete set, um, just one through three. If you guys just let us know what you want to do.
Yeah, and Josh was asking too. So it's just those two bidders. So yeah, if y'all want to pass on this, I understand. I, I, like I said, I, I could have swore I had issue four, but uh, apparently I don't. So I completely understand. And I'll see if I can find uh, issue four to go with it. So, okay. All right, well, cool, Robert. I'll definitely throw something in extra for you too. Okay, Josh is in too. Okay. No, Elvis, you got some Chinese food tonight. Sorry, I'm trying to be subtle. I'm not trying to eat it on camera, but I'm hungry. I didn't get to eat all day. But I'm down to a bed of egg roll, uh, some rice, and some egg foo young. The in and out's really for after the auction. That's my after. That is my after auction happy place. Well, you know me. You ask, I tell you no lies, my friend. Josh is in at 10. Okay. I was able to pick up another EC box set this week, Shelby. Oh, really? I got Shock Suspense Stories, a three-volume set. Oh, wow. Um, looks like Josh is going to win that. Yeah, right. Um, Josh. Yeah, if you're interested, I have a lot of the hardcovers. Uh, they were the 2000s, I believe, hardcovers. So they're not the box sets from the uh, 80s. Or yeah, 90s. I think I'm the box sets. <laughs> but those are pretty cool, man. They even having the reprints, but because those box sets are probably very tough to get. I was lucky to get these two. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm thinking about selling mine. Oh, right, you let me know. Okay. All I right. You giving me a chance, but that's uh, Josh is going to pick that up for ten. There's the end line. Yeah, one of these days we're going to get to the shelves around here and. Uh, um, it would be cool if you could do like and start and selling some stuff and give a like room tour, toy by toy. Uh, yeah, yeah. The toys, a lot of the toys I'm keeping, I am planning on selling the Migos, which are way up there. Um, and then, like I said, I, I've just got a whole bunch of actually, this bookshelf behind me down at the bottom is a whole bunch of trade paperbacks and stuff from the 80s and 90s that I've just I've carried around too long and you know what they what they've done since I've owned them what's that that on a shelf well so it's time, time, to time to get some new stuff it's time to send them on to a new home to somebody else they'll love them Absolutely. and care for them and pet them and um call them George Thanks, Shelby. You you got it. You know it. We'll be coming back to you next round. Hey, everybody. So you got a glimpse of Molly, right? Jalen showed you a glimpse, but she first came out, came out in 106. That was her very first, call it a cameo, call it what you will, but that's where she made her debut. And then this is her first full appearance, the A and the B cover for both issues. Um I got the set of four books for you for 25 bucks if you want them. That's a buy it now. You know, if you if you didn't get these, uh, that's a couple bucks above cover price, but not nearly as much as what I think they're going for individually. So good deal if you're interested. If anybody wants that, just let me know. Of course, I showed it before. We got a few more people. Got the Master of Kung Fu. Lord of Brooklyn, that's a buy it now. So if you want it for 25, you got it. I can do two sets. I got I got good stock on those. So I can take care of both of you guys. Lord of Brooklyn and T Pain, if you both want those Batman sets for 25. I know you do T Pain. Lord of Brooklyn, just verify that the 25 is for the buy it now Batman. I got the 
Spe Marvel Special Edition, number 15, the first appearance of Master Kung Fu. This book is, is in high demand right now. This is an 8.5 with white pages, which is pretty awesome. I have this thing available for $1,100. You got it, Brooklyn. $1,100 shipped and insured. The back's nice and clean. This is a very nice looking, attractive, clean book, especially considering it's from 1973. First appearance of Shang Chi, Fu Manchu, and Sir Dennis Nayland Smith. First appearance and death of Dr. James Petrie. Okay. Um. Let's see. I have a couple of these Adam Hughes Harley Quinns. If anybody's interested, I have these available for $20 each. That's one buy it now. I'll show one more buy it now. I got this beautiful Psylocke from Unknown Comics, Virgin. If somebody's interested, I can do that one for $30. And for auction, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven issues of Marvel 2-in-1. Some sweet Ben Grimm action. Robert, you want the Psylocke? You got it. I'm going to start this auction at $25. And I'll take you through the issues. We got 84, The Thing in Alpha Flight. We got 85, The Thing and Spider Woman. And these books are all in pretty nice shape. I'm going to say average like VF. Um, the Thing and Sandman. Now, isn't that? And The Return of the Impossible Man. Look at that. We got the thing and Sandman hanging out, having a brew. Uh, we got the thing and Ant-Man, murder on a micro world. We got the thing and Savage She-Hulk. Look at that. We got the thing in the Human Torch. You know, Johnny and Ben always the best of friends. And then finally, 99, the thing and Rom. So we got seven high grade, nice two in ones. We got Joshua in at 25. Okay, Discovery Bay, you got that Marvel Special Edition 15 for 1100 Thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, for guys, for letting me know about the bin. With Discovery... Did you have a Psylocke for buy it now? Yeah, and Robert Burke's got the Psylocke. I saw that too. All right. I'll go back and write it all down after the, you know. Right now at auction, we got some awesome, awesome Marvel 2-in-1s. Yeah, Mr. Burke, you just missed it. Discovery jumped on that bad boy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, these are great. These team ups, these Marvel Toon ones are great reads. Is that a timer? No. Okay. We got about 30 seconds left on the clock here. Yeah, I know it. I got, I knew that was a good price, so I'm not surprised it got grabbed. <laughs> the special edition got grabbed. Generally, I do price things when I want to sell them to move. I don't price them to to hang on to. Um, but it looks like I think we only got the one bid from Josh. So you're taking that down. Let me get an N. Oops. Computer's acting funny. Let me get an N line in. And boom, Josh, you got this for 25. Thank you. And we'll move over to Jalen. Right now is this round. XI one forty eight and nine point eight. Two fifty five ship. First Caliban. So we'll start for a three. First Mephisto, five five. Eleven fifty ship and insured. And Fantastic four forty eight four zero. First Silver Surfer and Galactus. Goes 3200 shipped and insured. The only two of these I can find on eBay are going for about 4400 now. There's no three fives posted that I see. There's no four fives posted that I see. So I don't think I'm to price this anymore. 44 seems very high. So 32. And for the auction, Wolverine, death of one through four. How much are you starting the auction at? Uh, let's go 20 bucks. $20, there you go. And I do have something to add We get bidders. And they're all very clean. Say they're all minimum nine six. This is what I could add. First parents old man Logan. Nine four CBCS. What's up, James Howard? Good to see you in the chat, my friend. Okay, we got about 58 seconds left on this Death of Wolverine. Hmm. Hmm. 
that um, that the two the body under the bed room was considerable damage to the body. We could not make a positive uh, go one twenty to add the club. It looked like the uh, van had run into the barn, so there was a collision. It's not like the van was on fire first, and then the barn began involved in the bridge of the beach. The only idea that the van was on the initial estimation was that it might be actually on fire in the vehicle. Okay. Um, it looks like we got any love for Wolverine right now. That was a timer. Okay. Again, like, just keep things tidy. Uh, the next round. the game and for the next round. French Quarter, what have you got for us this, this round? Hey. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of... Uh, a Hulk round this round. Uh, I'm going to start off with a buy it now. This is Marvel feature number one, nice. origin and first appearance of the Defenders. This is in a uh, what was graded a 4.0 by MyComicShop.com. Sometimes they grade a little tougher because they don't like to get returns. So it could be anywhere between a four and a five, but it's the mid grade. Uh, I will do a buy it now of 115 Chef comments. Marvel feature, first appearance, and origin of the defendants. And for the auction, uh, I'm going to start this at $60. It's a three book uh, lot of, we'll call it hoax, famous battles. Uh, the first one is Marvel feature 11. This is actually a, more of a big book for the thing because this is his first uh, solo title, is this issue. Marvel feature 11. Hey, you said how much for the starting bid? Uh, I'm going to start this at 60 bucks. $60. So Marvel Feature 11, this is from 1973, first solo Thing story. You got this great Hulk versus Thing battle cover by Jim Starlin. Then I'm going to add in Hulk number 250. This is from August 1980. Uh, this is an Al Migrum classic cover of Hulk versus the Silver Surfer in space. This also has the first appearance of uh, Sabra, the Israeli mutant who had enhanced strength. And it's got the first cameos of Arabian Knight, Collective Man, and the Soviet Super Soldiers. And the third book in the lot is the Ed McGinnis run of Hulk uh, from 2011. This is Hulk number 30, the first appearance and first cover of the Compound Hulk when the Red and Green Hulks merged into one. So all three books, starting bid $60. First thing, solo story. Hulk versus Silver Surfer. There is one issue I want to show on this spine. It does have a gouge there a little bit. Where somebody thought they were looking for a staple. And cool. I have to step away for a quick moment, so just be aware if there's any bids, definitely call them out. No problem. I'll be right back. And then the Compound Hulk. Great half red, half green cover there by Ed McGinnis. And again, Marvel feature number one. Origin and first appearance of the Defenders. Can be yours for 115 shift. We've already seen, obviously, Hulk and Doctor Strange introduced in the MCU. We know that Namor is likely coming in Black Panther 2. And uh, who knows? They may, they may bring back this Defenders team at some point. Marvel feature number one.
everyone in the chat, be sure and tell us what you're looking for tonight. If it's something uh, special, put in some requests. You never know when uh, one of us might have that book, you know, handy and in a box next to us we could pull out for you. We're happy to try it and give you what you're looking for tonight if, if what we're putting up is not it. Nobody interested, huh? Each one of these is worth more than 20. It's a steal of 60 to start with. Again, you're getting the first uh, first solo story from The Thing in Marvel Feature 11. That's the Jim Starlin cover. Showing Hulk and Thing having their battle. The Compound Hulk by Ed McGinnis, first appearance. Elvis is looking for ASM 315, if any sellers have that one tonight. So that's the end line. We didn't have any bidders. All right. Um, the timer did elapse. We the next round then. Definitely. Okay, Sands. Cookie time. I am here, my brothers. I am here. All right. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Pull boxes. I got hit up by Card Shop Reality. I know he's looking for uh, six for twenty-five. Again, I got six for twenty-five or twelve for fifty. So I'm gonna pull those. Let me show the auction this round. Yeah. It is two Hulk books. Since Hulk just went up, it is two Hulk books. I have Hulk. Oh, you know, 377. This is a V, um, and that is your first Professor Hulk. And then your next big book is 449. First appearance of Thunderbolts, ladies and gents. I'm starting these two books off at $200. $200. All right. Let me get your pull. All right, I got card shops right here. Bixby wants 12. And again, ladies and gents, these are the books. Starting line is $200. $200 starting line coming in. I didn't hear that before. I'm sorry. No problem. That's cool. We got first Thunderbolt, first Professor Hulk. Got a bunch of people, a couple people right, grabbing coins. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Kevin's is here. I'm going to show. Let me show the books and then I'll show card shops again. These are the two books. Big. First Professor Hulk, and then a near mint. I would say I'm going to put it at near mint minus. It needs a clean and a press, but this book is on fire. First Thunderbolts, two hundred dollars. Last sell on this was like two fifty by itself. All right, card shop. You got a newsy on X Force number seven. You got the poly bag X. Number 80 and number 115. You got Psy Force, uh, number one, Captain Marvel 28, and Seven Secrets, number five. Thank you, Kylie. Let me show the auction one more time, ladies and gents. Get in on these if you haven't seen it. 
and I will show big speed. All right, Kevin, you got Captain Marvel 23. This is the second print. Shang-Chi number four. You got that Savage number one. Miles number 19. You got Low number 26. Harley, uh, this is Batman White Knight. You got a Batman Superman number 12. X-23, Ravencroft Institute, number four, West Coast Avengers, number 48, Newsstand, and 47, Canto, number four, number Canto, two, number four, and another Harley. Thank you so much. Robert, I see you in the bidding, my brother. You know what these are. Again, this is a, I would say, near man minus. I'm going to put it at. She is crispy. Yeah, you're looking, your, your camera's looking a little choppy. Crispy, crispy. After no this can, round, you uh, might come back in. Out. Yeah, you might want to go out and come in after this okay. round. Will do, ladies and gents. Will do. It's looking good on uh, StreamYard, so it must be something. I'll restart and get it going again. I know the wife and the kid are all on it, too, so we'll get everything popping for everybody. Okay, so that's the timer. Looks like Robert is the only bidder, so we will drop an end line, and Robert's going to take this down for 200 Excellent, Robert. I appreciate you, my brother. And thank you so much. Much appreciated. There you go. Warlord will take six. Warlord, I will pull your six on this next round, ladies and gents. Warlord, next round. Thank okay. you so awesome. much. And there's the end line, and we will move over to Shelby. What's up, Shelby? What up, Todd? All right. So we are, what are we doing? What are we doing? What do we do before? We did some aliens. We're going to kind of keep with a little bit of the horror theme. All right. So here's a stack of Ghost Rider. So we got number. I'm going to start this at a dollar a book. There's 15 books, so $15. I'm going to throw in next extra one here in a second. $15 starting line coming in. Yep. Ghost Rider number 21. Ghost Rider number 22, and they're all in BF plus condition. They're all in great shape. Number 22, number 23, number 24, number 25. We're going to set that aside for a second. Number 26, number 31, still poly bagged. Uh, number 32, number 33. Number 34, number 37, number thir uh, 47, number 48, I believe, no, 49, apologies. Uh, and then Ghost Rider Annual, number one, Blaze, number one. And then for your extra book, I'm going to throw in Dark Hold, number 11. So that's 16 books total. Hey, Jeff. And of course, we got to look at the number 25 because you open it up and you pull out the center and you get a pop up Ghost Rider in the middle. Wow. So cool pop up in the middle for number 25. So 16 great Ghost Rider books. All of them are in great shape. Um, Josh is in at 15. And you've got, you know, a bunch of sequential numbers oh, going God. here. Bunch of sequential numbers going here. 21, 22, 23, 24. We've already showed 25. It's back here, 25. Number 26, uh, 31, 32. 
33, 34, 37, 47, 49. Ghost Rider Annual, number one, still polyvagged. Blaze, number one. Look at them. Got that metal arm, half cyborg, something. MR Big gun. <laughs> and then um, Dark Hold, number 11. Yeah. Which number? Uh, that one or that one? I think you're saying this one. Yeah, I think some kind of minor key. So we got Joshua in at 15. Nice Ghost Rider lot. Beautiful Ghost Rider lot. Early Joe Quesada artwork. I love his early work. So again, a little sequential. 21, 22, 23. Love that. Death Watch will die for this. Comes busting out. Number 24, fighting. I don't know who that is. Of course, you get that great fold out pop up. Number 25. No, but you don't need to see them. Uh, a little X Men crossover. Still polybagged. Um, I don't know. Doctor Strange is trying to pull Ghost Rider and I guess Johnny Blaze apart. A little Madcap action. A little. I don't know who that is. Looks scary. Ghost Rider's first kill comes back to haunt him. Oh. Revealed at last, a blast from the past, the leader of the firm. So, guest starring x Archangel. Um, number 47, 49. Oh gosh, that 19 wasn't a bit. That was just Jeff saying the number. So, we're still at 15, technically. Oh. He said, Jeff said it right afterwards. I don't have an issue 19 in here. I don't know. I mean, Jeff said not bidding issue number, so. Yeah, I know. Not going to hold them. I, I get it. So it uh, issue 21 is Vengeance first appearance. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Issue 21 is the first appearance of Vengeance. Don't worry. So Joshua still got the high bid. We got a couple seconds left. Okay, that was the timer. Hi, right, Josh. Thank you. Great deal, buddy. Awesome. Thank you, Shelby. Nice bunch of Ghost Rider books. I know, right? Let me add Sands back to the stream. And then we'll just go back over to me. Now I got to remember it goes Sands, then you. Or I guess we could just have it go you, then Sands. Same difference. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you to the 50 bucks bringing up the rear. Yeah, thank you to the 50 people we got watching. I, we all appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so for the Super Chat giveaway tonight, I got three. I got some cool books, I think, lined up. I'm going to do one of these nonstop Spider-Mans. I've had this book for sale for $20. So this is a limited uh, MetaHumans uh Nonstop Spider-Man number one by David Nakayama. This is the Archie homage with Felicia and, and Mary Jane and Peter all sharing a milkshake. So we got that one. A very cool book. And then I'm going to throw in a Silver Surfer Black number one, and that's a first print. With that awesome Trad Moore artwork. And then I got... Um, 
the Fantastic Four antithesis number two, which you know is the the black first black Galactus or Galactus Black, I believe. So we got that right there. So these are going to be the three super chat giveaways. Remember, I said I will do a at least a ten dollar Gorilla Bucks consolation spin. So I will set those aside. No, let's see. I mean, I need a big. Got to do this on a big post-it. Got Kevin Bixby. Thank you. Five out four ninety nine super chat. So you get five pulls, Joshua Rodriguez. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. That'll get you five pulls. I know Lisa did five earlier. And then somebody did a dollar earlier. I got to look that up. I don't remember. But haha, ha, Elvis, it doesn't work like that. You can't just write four ninety nine and think I'm not going to know the difference. It shows it up in the top. <laughs> so thank you, Kevin. Anybody else that wants to get in on the Super Chat giveaway, every dollar you Super Chat gets you, uh, gets your name on the wheel. One, one, uh, a goo. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. Goo rhythm times one. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was four ninety nine five. Same difference. I don't know. It's just force of habit probably for some folks. It's not a big deal. So it happens all the time. But anyway, buy it nows for the round. Let's see. What do I have for buy it nows? Um, I don't have that without the other one. That's weird. No, what was that? Let's see. I got this one. This is um, a strange, strange academy. What what issue number is this? I forget. Ten. This is by uh, Mercado after Addy Granov, but this is a beautiful Scarlet Witch. And magic. Is it 11 or 12, I believe? 10. 10. 10. Yeah, that's what I checked. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, Kevin. It's I, I've seen it before. It's no big deal. Same difference to me. One cent's not a difference. But this one's already sold out from uh, Unknown Comics. I have one I'll do for 35 if anybody's interested. Two of those two awesome characters, Scarlet Witch and Magic, Ileana Rasputin. So we got that available for 35 if anybody's interested. Then I got some awesome David Nayama Boba Fett. Got that one available for 40. Beautiful virgin cover with that orange background. And we've got the Miko Soyan entering the cantina type scene. Got his hand on his gun. Awesome shot. 40 on that one. If somebody wants both of them, I'll knock 10 bucks off and do 70 for the pair. 40 each, or I'll do the path for 70. A couple of nice virgin Boba Fetts. Okay, and then one more. I don't think about that. Okay. You guys want 
uh, I got a bunch of timeless Altros timeless books. You want both uh, Boba's, Josh? You got it. I'll pull those for you. Just in case anybody's interested. I have one. I, I can do at least one more set of the Bobas. If anybody's interested in the Boba Fets, Josh took the first set. I got one more set available. So you get the set for 70. Nice grab, Joshua. Well, how about we mix it up a little? Let's see if some... Let's go old school. I got a nice run of... Got a nice spider, little Spider Woman run. John Tyler Christopher for Boba. Um, the are you talking about the? I'm not sure which one you mean, Kevin. There's so many of them. I didn't. I didn't get all of them. So a good. Uh, I don't know which one. John. I know he does the action figure variants. So I know they did the 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 black Boba Fett armor action figure. I have a, I don't think I have any left. I mean, I might have one. Um, I got a couple uh, if you need as well. Um, yeah, the black action figure. If somebody else has that and they want to hook you up, that's cool. Um, dude, dude. Junior Ryan, you want the first Boba I showed only? That's fine. Let's get you that. That's the orange. So I got you that for 40. Dude, Jerry Ryan, I got you, I got you that Boba for 40. And I know you have books with me, so if you have books and you already paid shipping, you're probably good on shipping. So keep that in mind. I can let you. Know, I can check after the uh, auction or tomorrow for sure if anybody has any questions. Um, so I got this a nice little. Okay, so it looks like French Quarter's got you, Kevin. Um, nice little little Spider Woman run with a couple of uh, minor keys in here. Um, I got number 40. This is the first Flying Tiger. Okay, and then the other key is I got 37 uh, First Siren. Nice Steve Leolola cover. Okay. So the whole lot is 33. And these are, books are in pretty nice shape. Uh, mid, mid grades, mid, like fines to VFs. 33. We got 34. 36. Thirty-seven. Again, the first siren. Uh, Thirty-nine. This is a negative space cover before there was negative space covers. Leah Lola did these awesome covers, man. And then forty, flying tiger. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six books. I'll start this at fifty for the lot.
We got Joshua Rodriguez in at 50. And you got two first appearances in this slot. You got first Siren, first Flying Tiger. Agu's at 51. We got some nice, some nice, uh, I don't know if you call this copper or bronze. Probably copper. Got some more nice copper coming in this auction. Got some Ghost Riders. And then I got a bunch of uh, Doctor Strange. I hope we got some Doctor Strange fans out there tonight. I got some nice Doctor Strange books. You know, you're starting to see the 60 centers heat up. The 50 centers are all getting tougher and tougher to find these books. The more I go into comic stores, I really don't see, I see these less and less in stock. And prices are slowly but surely going in one direction. So I love when I'm able to score these books at a good price and, and pass it on. Love that cover. Let's see, we got about 10 seconds left on the timer. We do have a couple of bidders. I think the timer is probably just a, a, a technicality at this point. I think we'll see where we stand now. It's pretty cool. He's shooting her from out of a scrapbook. <laughs> it's a pretty good gag. So this is between Agu has the high bid of 51. Josh was in at 50. So you got the option to bid or fold Josh. Okay, Josh fold. So Agu is going to take it down for 51. I will drop the end line. Awesome, Magu. You got that for 51. Nice lot. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And we'll get the end line and we will move over to JJ. Double J. Right. Got a Nova number one, 9.4, 400 ships. And again, Fantastic Four, 48, 3,200 ship in a charge. Nice book. And this round for the auction, Spider Gwyn lot. Number one. Uh, it's comic limited edition. I think it's limited to like 3,000. And I'm pretty sure this is number 10, maybe, of the Ghost Spider series. Battle line. Mm -hmm. Then uh, number nine, Mayhew, Virgin variant. Carnage Eyes. Number 10. And Scotty Young, number one. Nice. Start at 50. Okay, $50 starting line coming in. I do have a couple more to add. What's up, Don Dizzle? Good to see you in the chat. 
Got Marco jumping on that first bid of fifty dollars. I think this one by itself is like thirty-five ish. Definitely some cool books in that lot. That's a wicked cover. I <laughs> like that. Marco's asking what the add-on is. The add-ons would be the the trade and the virgin. What do those come in at? Uh, say one ten. Nice. What's up, Southern Comic Geek? So you got that mark? It comes in at one ten. You got the. Issue 23 of Miles Morales, The Virgin in Trade. Got about 35 seconds left on the clock. So let's reset the timer. We'll drop the end line. Looks like Mark's taking the lot down for 50. All right. Okay. You let him know, Mark, if you're interested in that upgrade, you can hit him up on IG. His IG is in the description if you need it. And we'll move over to <clears throat> French Quarter. All right. Hello, everyone, again. Um, so a couple of bite rounds this round. Uh, first one I want to show is um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. This is the Leak Crate reprint from 2020. I'll do $75 shipped on this. It is unread, untouched, perfect condition. Then, I posted this on my Instagram. I just wanted to show what was coming up this next round. We're all familiar with this cover. This is not for sale. I'm just showing it because there's a resemblance. This is the new uh, War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha number one by Inhuff Lee. Uh, this was limited to 3,000 copies. It's homage to Wolverine number one. Um, I will do that and the action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, both together for $70 ship. Then I have a larger Star Wars lot this round for auction. This auction is going to start at $100. It includes several books, including those last two I just showed. But if you're looking for more titles, for $100, I'll put together this lot for you. Uh, it includes the John Tyler Christopher Boba Fett Black Armor action figure variant. Yeah. Empire Strikes Back, number one, the variant Yoda cover by Chris Sprouse. Dr. Afra, number one, this is the variant by Raphael Albuquerque. Star Wars Adventures, number one, this is the fried pie variant by Chris Stanley. Vader Down, number one, this is the variant by Chris Inca. Star Wars Episode One, the Guicon Gen photo variant. And then the big books at the end. 
Star Wars High Republic number four. This is the Mike Mayhew Shadow variant version. Uh, it's a beautiful cover of Jedi Knight Evar Chris. All black cover. A beautiful shadow variant with the green. And then that In Hook Lee Wolverine tribute. Or the Bounty Hunters Alpha number one. This is limited to 3,000 copies. So that's available for a hundred dollars for this lot or as i said i'll do the buy it now for just these two for seventy dollars ship Star Wars goodness in this lot. Mike Mayhew, Shadow Variant, Virgin. Hey, we got about a minute left on the clock. A little over. Brand new in Huckley. I actually just got these in the mail yesterday. That is a Boba Fett cover that looks pretty, pretty nice. And as Kevin was asking about the action figure variant, I do have, uh, I believe, one more, not in either of these two lots. And I could do that one separately for um, 20. Went down to my last one. But that one by itself would be 20, Kevin. 20, Jeff. jumping into steel even late well we'll try again next round y'all take care i'm just gonna go shelby then sands for the ease of my brain <laughs> all right all right, thanks. all right guys and gals let's see if y'all are paying attention on last monday's more you know monday we talked about variant covers we talked about retailer incentives we talked about convention variants so i've got a little of each for you guys tonight it's going to be a little builder lot the first book i'm throw up and they're all pretty lady comics too so you might better call up someone go wake up princess tell her get out of the club go out to the parking lot where she has a signal and uh jump in on this the first one is Decimation, number one. This is a uh, creation of Michael Turner. 2017 Cover C Retailer Variant, starting at $5. Okay, $5 starting line coming in. That's a cool cover. It is a very cool cover, my friend. Really great artwork. Actually, a good story. I kind of wish I, I might try and pick up the trade paperback. This is from 2017. Cover C, retailer exclusive, uh, decimation number one, Aspen Comics, which is Michael Turner's company uh, that he passed on to his family. And um, yeah, really great book. Start at $5. Get up to $10. We will throw in Phantom number one, convention exclusive, 2008. What's up, uh, Papa Wheelie? We got Papa Wheelie in for five bucks. All right, at ten dollars, the Baltimore Comic Con uh, exclusive, thousand printed, only a thousand printed. So this comes in at ten dollars. 
Super great, cheap. Hey, Tony. Price. Josh is going to 15. Exactly. That that's my that's my friend. All right. Then at twenty dollars and still this is just so crazy cheap. Witchblade 111. This is the Wizard World, Texas, my state. Um limited to one thousand copies. That's all it is. One thousand copies. So you get two convention exclusive here. And this is 2007. So this is 2007, 2008, Baltimore Comic Con. You're not going to find these every day. So $20 for this one comes in. That cool Witchblade. So we got a little Michael Turner theme lot going here. Witchblade number 111. Love that art. Limited to 1,000 copies, Wizard World, Texas. All right. These are going to be crazy cheap. Y'all going to say, Shelby, you're insane. Why are you selling these so cheap? Josh is for 20. What's up, Maz Electra? Yep, you're a little late there, Maz. Um, $30. This is half price. We're going to do which blade? 25th anniversary uh, virgin at $30. Half price. So that book comes in at 30? Yep, this book comes in at 30. Right now, we're just on these three. Max is at 22. So right now, we got the one in a thousand. I mean, uh, the only 1,000 printed, which played 111. 2007 Wizard World Texas Baltimore Comic Con uh, 2008 Phantom number one, one only a thousand printed and then decimation um, uh, number one 2007 uh, C retailer exclusive so at 30 I will throw this in and then at 40 We'll throw this in. So the other, um, and that's that's less than half price right there. So this is another 25th anniversary special. Another nice virgin uh, um, Witchblade book. A little booty action there. Wow. So lifelike. You just want to. And that is all I have. So at uh, forty dollars. So Papa Willie's in at thirty. Maz is in at thirty-two. That's right. They keep getting bigger. Josh is going to forty. I ain't saying what keeps getting bigger, Captain Ramius, but they keep getting bigger. No, you sure are pointing to it. I'm not doing it. I'm just trying to hold them, Todd. They're slippery, man. Slippery. Oh, oh, even. oh my gosh. Barely then, hold then on. There is a good coefficient of friction between your skin and the plastic. They are not slippery. Oh, whoa, whoa. Unless you, unless you freaking grease your fingers up before you handle comic books. Uh, look not at that, not look tonight, at that. I have it. Look, look at that innocence. Not tonight, I have it. Fair enough. You know? I'm not asking any more questions. All right. <laughs> so All right. We 40, Papa Wheelie folds. We still got Maz Electrin, I think. Maz uh oh, Lecter. somebody woke up, Princess. Who called me out of the club? See, <laughs> Shelby called you, Princess. But well, good to see you, Princess. Hey, Keith, what's happening, man? Good to see you, hey, Michelle. Keith. Make sure you didn't miss a few uh, girly books. So we got right now forty dollars, and this is still so much meat left on the bone. We got a Witchblade twenty-fifth uh, anniversary virgin. We got another Witchblade twenty-fifth anniversary virgin. Uh, we have a decimation number one 
cover C, retailer exclusive. Uh, we have it. Why am I getting Neko? Cut it off. Sorry. Don't yell at me like that, man. I clicked the tab and it started playing. Which play? Number one eleven. Which uh, play? Number one eleven. Wizard World, Texas. Only a thousand printed, uh, two thousand seven, and then we have Phantom number one, Baltimore Comic Con, two thousand eight. Only a thousand printed. So that's uh, five books. Lot of lot of lot of money still left here. This goes for about twenty five, about twenty. Um. These you'd have to look up, but I'd have to say at least 10 to 20 each. So that's another 60. So you're looking at hell, looking at $105 worth of books here. Josh is in for 45. So 25th anniversary Virgin, 25th anniversary Virgin, decimation number one, cover C, retailer exclusive. Uh, 2017 Witchblade 111 Wizard World Texas um, only a thousand printed and then Death, uh, Phantom number one Baltimore Comic Con 2008 only a thousand printed and it says it right up there thousand printed now this goes 47 Josh goes 50 Now this goes 55. So you got a little of everything in here. You've got some, um, you get some, uh, all kinds of different cover variants. So if you watched <clears throat> more, you know, Monday, last Monday, we talked about them. So the different types. So you have the um, exclusive variants here. You have the retailer incentive variant, and then you have two convention variants. And I'm predicting convention variants are going to be your next hot things to come up because they're usually very limited on about 1,500 to 1,000 copies. We got Josh at 60. All right, was it just Maz and Josh? Yeah, I think so. Let me double check. It looks like Josh is taking it down for 60. Okay. So, really but Papa Wheelie folded. So, a little preview mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah. Look at all that Lady Death coming up. So, we got that coming up. And. Oh. <sighs> Something is killing the children. Number one, fourth print. Nice. We'll catch all you that, for those goodies. Looks, looks like all that will be coming like up. Looks like we're playing for keeps tonight, guys. I love that movie, Playing for Keeps. Oh, 80s classic. 80s classic. What's up, everybody? So good. It was, it was Molly Ringwald, and who was the actor? Oh, I can't remember the other guys. Uh, Who's the? That's four keeps. You're thinking of four keeps. There was two oh, movies. Yeah. Four keeps, and then uh, there was playing for keeps. What was playing for keeps? Was that a hockey movie? No, it was actually like a uh, a movie about an inner city kid who goes to like 
run this hotel and the, the people want to run them out of there and they play this game called Christopher Columbus. It was just craziness, man. It was so good. Um, but yes, let's get to it. Welcome to round three. Ladies and gents, I have the poll box here. Six for 25 or 12 uh, for 50. Six for 25 or 12 for 50. Um, there is a slab in there so and some other hits. Uh, let me show some buy and nows this round. I have your Boba Fett Black Armor cover. I have the Sarah Pacelli Bounty Hunters War of the Bounty Hunter Alpha uh, number uh, one, the trade and the virgin. This is a three book lot. I will do it for 110 shipped. 110 shipped. You guys know how much these are selling for on eBay. So that is the first buy and now. 80 shipped on the women of Marvel, number one, including the trade in the Virgin. And the last fight now for this round, some oldies but goodies. High-grade copies of Labyrinth, the miniseries, one, two, and three. Bowies in space. All right, ladies and gents, what's up, D-Mets? have Jupiter's Legacy. Um, this is Jupiter's Legacy. Then we're going to start this off at 110. 110. This is Jupiter's Legacy 1 through 5, Volume 1, 1 through 5, Volume 2, and then Jupiter's Circle 1 through 6. So, this mm -hmm. is someone coming in. Yeah, if y'all have not watched that, if y'all have not watched that show on Netflix, it is really good. It is a good, it's a slow burn. It starts off slow, it, but it's it, really it's good. Slow. Yeah, you kind of like, hurry up and let me see how you get your powers. <laughs> but, you know, it's good. So this is number one. This is the second print, ladies and gents. Number one, the second print. So a nice book to have. You got number two, number three, number four. Number five, then we have Jupiter's Legacy number two. This is volume one, two, three, four, and five. And like I said, we then have Jupiter's Circle volume two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So a super deal, 16 books right here. Um, so these are, uh, you're paying just about a little over cover price. Um, so binged it last, binged it in one night. <laughs> he said I was not productive the next day. Luckily it was what, six episodes? I can't remember, six or eight. But um, it was definitely worth getting through yeah, is eight um, episodes yeah eight episodes it was definitely worth getting through the backstories were amazing and um i just had so much fun with it so you guys haven't dived into these yet feel free to jump in and check out how accurate the story is but you know they will be producing a season two, Netflix is jumping on that run. So again, 16 books, Jupiter's Legacy, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Jupiter's Circle, Volume 2, 1 through 6. So 16 books, ladies and gents. One more bite now for this round. This is your Ice Cream Man, number 24, the Alan Quaz. These are 70 shipped, 70 shipped on Ice Cream Man, number 24. Um, actually, it's a trade and a virgin. I got two trades there. That's what the virgin looks like. So, trade and virgin. 75 shipped. Yeah, look at look at the brother, man. It, it is spot on. 
The casting was done very well, my friends. Okay. Looks just like them. Looks like All right. Timer looks like uh, not no not any love for Jupiter this time around. You never know. Says the online online drop. She may be getting hit up on Instagram. All right, ladies and gents. Once again, please check out my IG. I have a big waffle going on there. Nineteen issues of something is killing the children. You can get all of them one shot. $50 a raffle entry. Let's fill it up. Let's get it done. And I will run that as soon as we are done. Thank you very much, Gorilla Todd. You got it, Sam. You're welcome. Hey, 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 everybody. So let me just show you. I got the Super Chat books. We got the Nonstop Spider-Man number one by David Nakayama. We got Silver Surfer Black number one. We got Fantastic Four Antithesis number two. So we got... <coughs> Some great books here for every dollar super chat you put forth. You get your name put on the wheel to win these three books. And after we pick a winner for these three books on the super chat giveaway, I will do a consolation spin. And that winner will win Gorilla Bucks that can be redeemed, same as money, on my auctions. So, you know, win-win. One more chance to win. Um... Talking about pretty ladies. We got this Cherry Pop-Tart number two by Peach Momoko. Uh, Sailor Moon kind of cosplay deal. I'm almost... Yeah, it's getting close, Keith. It's getting close. I'm, I'm filling it up. Um, that's why I'm trying to move some books, make some room. Uh, we got the Cherry Pop-Tart Momoko number two. Uh, I only found one listing for this book on eBay for like 160 bucks. But I've also got the Virgin to go with it. So I'll tell you what, if somebody wants both these, I'll do them for I'll do both books for 160. So they're only selling this one, the trade one, which is less limited. I'll throw in the Virgin more limited. So you get both books, 160 buy it now, shipped and insured. So that's available if anybody's interested. I've read Cherry Pop-Tart. Saying the word virgin with Cherry Pop-Tart, just... That, that's it's, a, it's about as appropriate as saying the word virgin when you're handling uh, which, which uh, whatever. But, yeah. Uh, virgin, re uh, virgin refers to the cover and its lack of trade dress and the effect on the artwork rather than any any kind of comment on the character's lives there. Wow. Hey, Sassy Cajun. Sassy, you still got 25, 25 Gorilla Bucks to spend. Don't forget. I'm glad you made it to the auction. Not that they expire, but, you know, I want you to get – I don't want you to forget. So you got the 25 from the contest. We got Papa Wheelie with a $5 super chat. So let me get you on the list, Papa Wheelie. Thank you very much. I do appreciate every super chat, guys. <sighs> Trade undress too. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, and then I have the uh, High Republic number one. This is the Giuseppe Camo... Oh, no. Is this... I think it is. It's a cool cover, the version in trade. I got this for 90, both books for 90, shipped and insured if anybody's interested. $90, buy it now. That's a High Republic number one, limited edition, nice book. Let you hang out with Sherry. Is anybody looking for Alex Ross Timeless books? I got a big stack of them. I guess I could do this as a builder. I'll start. I got Storm, Captain America, 
Hawkeye and Doctor Strange. So four, I'll start these at $20 and we'll see how it goes. If you guys want, this is, if you like these, awesome. I got a bunch of them. If not, life goes on. But these are definitely cool books. I'm going to a pop a $5 super chat from Papa Wheelie. Thank you very much. I'm going to go through these. Okay, card shop's in for 20. We got one bid from Card Shop. Got about a minute left. Five, I could bring in Namor. At 25, I can bring Namor in. Got about two seconds left, so there's the timer. Let's reset that. I'm going to drop that end line. Thank you for the $10 super chat, Simon R. So, Card Shop, you got these four for 20. Are you interested in any others? Because I got a bunch more. I can work something out with you. You can let me know. But you got these four for 20. Well, if anybody needs any of the timeless, let me know. I got pretty much all of them. And I'll be happy to hook, hook you guys up. Sounds good, card shop. Okay, and real quick, I got a, a buy it now I haven't shown yet. I got this Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight, the nine six. And it's got white pages. Mm, nice looking book. I don't have any of the, <coughs> excuse me, no, Keith, I don't have any of the one one hundreds. But I've got, um, so this thing, I got, I got this 9-6 Secret Wars 8. Do it for 500, shipped and insured. Mm. 
Let me write you down, Simon R, and then we will move move on. Okay. Got some five rounds again. Avengers nine, first Wonder Man, four point five, four twenty five ships. Silver Surfer three, five five, eleven fifty shipped and insured. For the auction. Go the toxin. The full series except number five. I don't have for some reason. All near mint. Started thirty bucks. So, if you get some dead, I do have an add in. Has to do with, I guess you can call him his uncle. Item 9, Philip Tan Virgin. Got a $30 starting line on these toxin books. Yeah. Sounds like so you got a party over there. I said, does the mic pick up all the screaming and noise? Everything. <laughs> Kid's got his little friend over here for their first takeover. Nice. We can almost hear them better than we can hear you. <laughs> like I said, it's a party. Well, they got their half a meal in them, so they're running around full of energy. <laughs> Five years old. Awesome. Kids are fun. It can be. Yeah, I spend my days with kids. I have a lot of fun. Oh, we sp I spend my days with kids. We have a lot of fun. We spend Friday smashing rocks with hammers. Are they five year olds? No, no. They're like six and seven graders. Oh. Middle school. That's got to be way worse. No, it's pretty awesome. Uh, a pack of teenagers. Yeah, they're cool. I got to teach good kids. I'm lucky. Yeah, I work at a great school. With great kids. Sometimes they even stop in in the auction and say hello. What do you teach anyway? What's that? Oh, science. Huh? I teach science. Wolf Blitz is asking about the condition on the books. Oh, they're all near me. Definitely thank you to the 65 people we got watching tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to me, hit that thumbs up. Let us know you love us. But yeah, they're all near mint. There's nothing wrong with any of them. So they're near mint. I'll give you a moment, Wolf. You think you may want to throw a bid in? But that was, there you go. Look, I read your mind. <clears throat> and line's going to come in because that was the timer. It looks like you're getting this for 30 bucks, Wolf. Okay. Okay. 
the deal. We will move over to French Quarter. All right. Hello again, everyone. Uh, my buy now for this round is uh, more of a big boy book. Um, I'm offering a CGC 9.2 graded New Mutants 87, the first print, uh, red cover, first appearance of cable. Um, that is going for 240 shipped. Um, I can show a quick picture, I think. What's up, Oregon? Good to see you, my friend. Stop cam there. Um, the reason I'm showing a picture of it is because uh, this was an eBay sale that somebody failed to pay. The, the slab is already bubble wrapped, packed, ready to go. Just needs a shipping label on it. So uh, rather than open the whole thing up, uh, I was just showing the picture. But uh, this is a buy it now for 240 shipped. New Mutants 87 in a 9.2 CGC. And then for auction, uh, I'm going to start this at an unbelievably cheap $30. Uh, I'm going to put a free book lot up of Marvel Comics Presents number one, Wolverine. Uh, this is a high grade copy. Marvel Team Up 117, Spider Man and Wolverine. This is about maybe an 8.5 or so. There's a nick on the top left corner uh, right up here. That's about the See right there. Yeah. Breaking. Let's see that. Um, and third book is Spider Man versus Wolverine. Uh, this is the second print, which came out in 1989. Uh, this is also high grade. Um, if you were going to try to get it slab, though, it probably should get a press first, uh, just to flatten a little bit of waviness, because this is a very thick book as well. Uh, but unread, untouched great condition. So all three of these, I'm going to start at $30. They're worth quite a bit more, but it's been a slow night and I want to get something going. So. Marvel Comics presents number one, Wolverine. Marvel team up. 117, Spider-Man Wolverine. That is not a color breaking tick. That is a line of the spider web drawing that goes through there and down there as well. This is that uh, very interesting cover, uh, forced perspective cover with Wolverine's giant claw and giant left boot and Spider-Man with one normal sized hand and one that looks as if he was just punching the wall for eight hours. <laughs> and then the third book, Spider-Man versus Wolverine. This is the 1989 second print. This was a pretty cool story if you never read it. Starting line on these three, only $30. Okay, so you got a $30 starting line and some cool Wolverine books. Wolverine has been popping those claws as of late. His books are getting a lot of attention. People are getting excited about Wolverine. Or you could have the first appearance of Cable, graded in a 9.2 for 240 ship. All I need is your payment and your address, and that box is ready to go first thing Monday. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds left on the clock. OK, 
Keith says he didn't see the pic. Let Keith know the details on that slab. Here's the picture real quick right there. Um, I wish I could make it bigger, but uh, it only lets me do it in this little vignette. But uh, I can send you, uh, if you want to hit me up on IG, uh, FQ Comics. Uh, I can send you full pictures there of that. Uh, again, it's graded 9.2. And uh, I've got another one uh, to offer later on. That's uh, the X Men 266. Uh, also, same deal. It's packed and ready to go from somebody that did not pay. Uh, and I'll show that picture in a little bit as well. We'll see everybody next round. Okay. Move right over to Shelby. We'll move over to. There we go. There we go. All right. A couple of buy nows. down a little bit uh first one is um venom 9.8 uh number 26 80 dollars 80 dollars virgin cover venom number 26 9.8 and then um really tough book to find carnage mind bomb number one uh 9.4 Buy it now, one hundred dollars. You can look it up on eBay. That's about the cheapest you're going to find it. Uh, but nine point four Carnage Mind Bomb number one, one hundred dollars. Both those buy it now. All right, let's go ahead and get crazy. All right, something is killing the children. Number one, fourth print. So let me explain real quick Todd before I do the start line sure perfect 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 I mean it is amazing there's no deal fix anything when you look at it from the front on the back there is a dent now, this kind of a cardboard cover, I think we'd be pressed out, but you're not going to get rid of those color rubs. So, you know, bid appropriately. If you want to press it, I think the dents can come out, but you can't fix those color rubs. So, you know, bid appropriately. I think even with color rubs, you're still looking at a near mint book from CGC. Um, I'll be honest, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. I don't. I think with it being clean of any ticks and dents and stuff with the press, I don't think they knock off that much for the color rubs. But you know, um, y'all can bid appropriately. I still feel like it's a great book. So I'm gonna start this out at one dollar. You jumped the gun, Steve. How did you read my mind, Steven Spock? Something is killing the children. Number one, fourth print. High it was a nine four, Josh. Yeah, I was about to show it again. Um, high grade. Start at one dollar. Guys, this book is a hundred and fifty yeah. plus dollar book. Yeah. Um, we're talking about a, some minor pressable damage and some color rub on the back. This is still a big book, ladies and gents. Still a big book. Crazy big book. I agree. Thank you, Sands. Okay, we got eight Carnage with a $5 bid. Carnage Mind Bomb, 4.9.4. Buy it now. Sadly, you can see what the issue is it's that huge dent right there that huge crease well kevin goes in for 20. ron's in for 30. They're up to like a ninth print. This is a uh, ducks at 35. Kevin's at 45. Like Sam said, um, 
It's about it's about 165 or so, I think, in high, high grade. You know, again, I think with the press, you know, there's nothing you can do with a color rub. But I, I don't think CGC beats you up too much on things like that. So I, I still feel it's a 9-0-ish range. Um, I would be surprised because they're going to count off more on the dents and ticks. What are you doing? Okay, I got knocked out, so I had to put myself back in. Oh, okay. I was wondering why you're so quiet. It's like, wow, that's like these Runs at 50. Man, so nice and peaceful. Yeah, so it, it's still about a hundred dollar book. Yeah, we're at fifty dollars right now with Ron with the high bid. We have Kevin in. We have Kevin in. We have um Shutter Duck in. Yeah, that's what's gonna hurt you see the thing is And Shelby, there was no, was the back was that any tear or anything, or is that just color rub? Just color rub, from what I could tell. Shutter ducks at fifty one. Yeah, it's just color rub. Yeah, it does kind of look like a tear at the staple, but it's not. Oh, and it's yeah. so weird. It's so looks, weird. Uh, see, it's so weird how the front is like, but you can see where it it dropped, right? You know, we got a couple of bidders, so you know, I trust me, I you know, I'm not gonna throw a grade out. I'm say, you know, just be truthful and stuff, but um I know for a fact people would put this up on eBay and call it like a 9.4 <laughs> with, with that defect, you know. I've seen crazy crap on eBay. Shutter Ducks at 56. Hey, Jessica, coming at us from Facebook. Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen people like list things with like ticks all the way up and down. Nine point four. It's like what? Are you crazy? Where are you guys' main bids? Todd, can you help? Uh, yeah, sure, Jessica. Mainly we're on YouTube, so the bid is always on the screen under the word high bid. Okay, so like right now, Ron Lacewell just bid, so his bid is 60. It's on the screen. If you would like to come over or can come over to YouTube, you'll get the best experience for the auction, Jessica. You can bid from Facebook if, uh, you know, you're not able to get to YouTube. And you can, and just the screen is where the, the high bid is displayed. Anthony Pena's at 62. Yeah, I would say with the press, the color rub, I mean, I I feel comfortable at a 9-0. Um, like right I said, I don't, think they're going, I don't think they're going to ding you too much on that. They're going to ding you more on color-breaking spine tips and stuff, you know. But I do not work for CGC. I'm just trying to help you.
Okay. Dark folds, open opinion folds. I think it's Ron. Ron's only one left, I think. Yep. Um, Kevin was in the Kevin fold. Uh, I don't know, Todd. Let's check. Uh, Kevin, 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 45, Stephen Smart folds. Okay, Kevin, it looks like you're still in. Give us a, let us know if you're going to bid or fold, Kevin. There's a fold from Kevin. Makes it yeah, a Kevin Ron, I'm not sure if I know you, sir, um, but hello. I'm glad to meet you. Um, my IG should be in the description. Please uh, message me and we can work out the details. So I really appreciate it. You got a great deal there, my sir. Ron Lacewell's part of the family. Sands and I could both vouch for him. He's good. Okay, cool. Great deal, Ron. So definitely hit me up on IG and uh, we'll work out the details. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, I don't know about you, Todd. I'm kind. Of, I'm tired. That that uh, show wore me out today. As a small you out today. Huh? What were you out today? The toy show. Oh. I'm in here. Okay. See, he's already forgotten. We're supposed to be friends, too. Dude, doesn't mean I remember everything you say. You know, we're buddies, sure. We're going to move over to Sam's. Whoa! Oh, oh, hey, that was oh, awesome. We, we caught Sam. We caught Sam playing with his lightsaber. Beating hey, the kids. There was some galactic kid. monster over there that was just uh, being a nuisance. I had to wipe it out with my lightsaber there. And got a Star Wars hat on. I love it. Yes, yes. Some. What's up, Ron? Good to see you in the chat, my friend. Again, we got polls. This is five for uh, six for twenty-five or twelve for fifty. There is a slab in there. There is a slab, and that slab is right there, 9-4, Amazing Spider-Man number 205 with the new label. All right, we're going to get started with some old-school Star Wars this round. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for dropping those cookies. Um, and this can be a builder lot. I have a bunch of other Star Wars to put in here. But we're going to start this off at – we'll start this off at $40. This is – Star Wars number 19, number 15, and number 20. These are all, I want to say, VF. Yeah, $40. The number 19 is uh, probably a, a, a VF minus. The other two are uh, VF, and they are nice newsies. Mark O wants 12 for 50. Thank you very much, Mark. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and one more, 12. All right, let me just show the lot one more time. Again, we got three Star Wars books, starting it off at $40. This is number 15, number 19, and number 20. We do have more Star Wars that we can add in, ladies and gents. We can get to some of the bounty hunters. We can get to the X-Wing Rogue Squadron. We got the Kamakuli sets. We got High Republic. Goodness. We got some other Boba Fett. Mike Mayhew. Vader. We got the bounty hunters. Which, which books are you asking condition on? This is a VG... Uh, I would put um, number 
number 19 at a uh, VF, and the others are VF plus. Three books, $40, and we can add. Let me just show Mark O his polls. And Warlord, if you're still here and you want your polls, do let me know. You got a Namor King in Black. You got a Red Hood uh, Outlaw, number 52. Raw Shack, X Factor number four, X Force number three, Helm Castle Gray, Helm Gray Castle, the Noctura number two, X Force number two. You got that Carnage exclusive. That's like a seventy dollar book right there. Big hit. Batman one hundred and six, Lando four and your Suicide Squad 2. Right now, there's three books in the lot. What's up, so rich, Dave? Three books starting at 40, and we got others that you can add in. Just let me know. I know that's the timer, Silver Age. If you want to jump in on this, let me know, and then I can let you know what the others would come in at. Um, you can hit me up on IG. Uh, if you have any other questions, but these start at 40. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds here in case anybody wants to do a last minute bid, but that end line is imminent. Again, next book in would be uh, at 65, The Rogue Squadron, and we can keep building from there. If anyone's interested in any of these, the High Republics or anything else, hit me up. We're good to go. Thank you for the polls, Mark O. Awesome. Thank you. Ten dollars shipped, so it's uh, sixty dollars. And you can hit me up at my information down below, and yeah, sure. I'll get back to this galactic monster. Once again, check out my IG <laughs> for the big, big waffle. I have 16 spots left. Thank you, everybody, who hit me up so far. Uh, we started with 25 spots. We're down to 16. It's going fast. Jump in. Take care. Okay. <clears throat> so. Some more buy it nows for this round. I do have a Strange Academy number one, second printing 9-8. I can do that one as a buy it now, shipped and insured for $125, $125. Strange Academy, number one, second print. $125, shipped and insured. Hey, Comic Crack. What's up, Promiscuous Time Traveler? So I have that available if anybody's interested. Uh... If anybody's interested in the Venom number one, Bill Sienkiewicz, I have that in the 9.8. You know, the black black covers are tough to get. Uh, I have this one available. I'll do this one for 250 which I believe is cheaper than I've seen it offered on eBay, and you don't have to pay fees and taxes. So 250 on Venom if anybody's interested. And then I have either of these Harley 75s, uh, Cal New or Jan Chilito, uh, $100, either one, shipped and insured. If we have anybody who's into Harley, this is Harley 75, two different covers, either one, $100, shipped and insured. Okay, well, thank you for the $5 Super Chat Card Shop Reality. That gets you five entries for the Super Chat giveaway, which is Nonstop Spider-Man number one, Silver Surfer Black number one, and Fantastic Four Antithesis number two. So you got the first Galactus Black, the first Silver Surfer Black, and we got a really cool David Nakayama Nonstop Spider-Man number one variant, an homage to an Archie cover, every dollar Super Chat. Get your name on the wheel. So $1 equals one. your name once. 
five dollars as card shop reality is just super chatted we'll get him entered on the wheel five times i will also besides the books um i will do a consolation spin and give at least ten dollars in gorilla bucks to a consolation winner so even if you don't win the books for the super chat which supports the channel and helps the channel grow and increase the you, you know what, what i can do for you guys but besides you know besides just not winning the books you can also get some gorilla bucks so you'll get some comics out of it you know that you can decide on at a later date okay so buy it nows i got a falcon mini series one through four uh they look like they're in good shape. I'm going to say like VF's average. So, you know, solid books to read or add to your collection. One through four, the complete first Falcon miniseries, $20, buy it now. So if somebody wants to add that to their box, $20 for Falcon one through four. So that's available. One more buy it now. I have the Cult of Dracula Hackjaw exclusive. A trade dress and trade free or virgin cover. And I know she doesn't look like Blah, blah, blah. But anybody wants a set, I can do the set for $30. That's the, both books. Okay, I'm going to do a $20 starting line. We're going to start with Doctor Strange, 176. Uh, I'm going to say this is a mid-grade book. The biggest problem, it's got some spine ticks, and it's got a chunk out of that, that corner right there. Little corner tear, chunk missing. Other than that, you know, it's got some spine some spine stuff going on, but not too bad. Otherwise, a nice copy of... I don't have any Tuma Dracula lined up tonight. I got a bunch of Doctor Strange. I do have some Ghost Rider, some first series Ghost Rider. I can do a little late, you know, in a later round. I do have some of uh, his his next series. Uh, I have like two through ten available. If anybody's interested in those for Doctor Strange, and then I have some some later issues.
Got about a minute left on the timer. Okay, got about 45 seconds left. Josh is in at 20. Okay, I also have, have 183, which can come in. Which can come in at 40. If you want, Josh, this one comes in at 40. This is when Dr. Strange was wearing a mask for a minute. That's 183. Let me reset the timer. Okay, so Josh... You're going to take 176 down for 20. You want to go 40? Okay. Okay, so there's the end line. You got those two for 40. Nice pickup, Josh. Okay, and we will move over to JJ. And again, bite now is silver for three, five, five, eleven fifty shipped and insured. Secret Wars number one, the Miles Morales, Heroes Con, nine point eight, go two seventy five shipped. And for the auction this round, <clears throat> Avengers 257, the first Nebula. It's pretty decent shape. Maybe one or two nicks on the spine. Maybe a tiny little white spot right here if you can see it. It's probably a 9092. And Miss Marvel number one. This is in really good shape. Just a bit of a miswrap. The uh, comment code here is cut off. And a lot of white on the spine. Started at about a 150. So $150 starting line. I hear that right? Yeah. Fifty. There you go. Get your timer set. Couple of nice books. Nobody wants anything. I'm gonna start breaking out the big keys. I can get out of something that's killing children, number one, first print. Blow up the internet. The internet will just crash. <laughs> Got it, Joshua. Thank you. Oh, you have to, I, 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 I
Okay, we got a couple of nice books. Avengers, first appearance in Nebula, Terminus, and we got Miss Marvel number one. We got a $150 starting line. That first nebula goodness. What's the grade on that first nebula? Uh, I'm going to say a solid 9 0, maybe a 9 2. But most likely it's right around a 9 0. Put in chat what you guys are looking for. Now is the timer. I'll give a few seconds for lag just in case anybody's. Trying to get a bit in there at the last minute, last second. I think we'll um, have to come back to you next round, Jerry. I think uh, we'll, people will let you know if they're interested in those. They'll hit up on IG. We're going to move over to, to French Quarter. All right. Hello again, everyone. Uh, this round, I'm going to go for some just basic dope covers. Um, I hope uh, Shelby's be sitting down because this one is going to knock his socks off. I think this is oh, <laughs> this is Vampirella versus Purgatory number one. It's called the Fire Variant by Nathan Surdy. It is autographed by the artist. Uh, it's a mostly black cover. Those ticks you see are embers of flame, though, bouncing up around her. It's not that there's anything marking the book. Um, glare, of course, doesn't do it justice, but this is one spectacular cover. Nathan Zerdy autographs sit with a bucket and a couple of vampire fangs. Uh, I will do this one as a buy it now for $80 shipped. $80 mm. shipped back. That's one of those hango your bad books. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one better. Uh, the other buy it now for this round. Uh, this is the Gabriel Delato Miles Morales Virgin Moonlit variant of Marvel Voices Legacy Number One. Uh, again, fighting the glare here. It's an all black cover. There's Miles Morales perched top of a turret or a gargoyle up on a building clinging to it with his webs with a full moon behind him just a gorgeous gorgeous miles cover by Gabriel Del Otto that one will go 65 shifts I do have two of these available so 65 shifts to the first two planet. and then rounding this lot out this is for auction with a starting line of $70 uh, this one, I believe, might be the cover of the spring. Uh, this is, uh, I just got this yesterday delivered. Um, but this is the Miles Morales Spider-Man 25 Mike Mayhew Virgin variant called the Drip Hoodie there variant. We've got Miles in a hoodie there, as you can see. Street clothes. Dripping out into his costume as he's firing his web. Uh, just a absolutely phenomenal cover. This one, I've only got one left of. I sold my other one last night, right away. Uh, this one, or Thursday night, right? This one is going $70 starting bid. And uh, this was limited to uh, 1,000 copies, by the way. Very, very small print line of a thousand. 
We all know how big Miles is going to be. Just imagine what this would look like slabbed on your wall once he really bursts onto the scene in the next couple of years. This one is one that you definitely would want to hold on to. It has not been taken out of the Mylar it came in. Crispy, crispy clean. Okay, we got a seventy dollars starting line. This Miles Morales coolness. We got fifty five in the chat. Where are you all? Here for you. You quiet down, guys. We appreciate every one of you. Please, Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. Absolutely. You know, let us know you love us. Say what's up. We're working hard to bring you some of the most special books out there right now. And this is definitely one of them. Again, I've got the Gelato Moonlit Miles. If you like that better, 65 shift on this. And one more look at the Vampirella Fire variant by Nathan Siri. We'll go in my box and run off to eat flat. But, uh, <laughs> wanted to give everybody a shot at it tonight before it goes away to CDC and comes back uh, in a much more expensive state. We'll see everybody again next round. Thanks, man. We'll be back next round. Shelby. All right. Uh, so I still have, <clears throat> if anybody's interested, a uh, Carnage Mind Bomb 9.4, $100. Um, and then also have the Venom number 26 Virgin cover, $9.8, $80. I've got also a couple of sign books. So that fully goodness, uh, these were convention variants. Um, our germ signed, uh, does have a couple of spine breaks. You can barely see them, so I get in the light. Right there. Can you see both of them? Yeah. yeah. See right there, Jones, where it says Jones. Yep, right under the uh, back. $50. Uh, normally, it's a $100 book, but because of the spine tick, I'm doing half price for 50 And then a beautiful Wonder Woman. This is also a convention variant. Signed by our germ, and it also has right there in the center. You can see that tick. And these are the cardboard covers with full, so you can't press them. So, like I said, normally uh, completely flawless, they go for about 100, so I'm doing them half price. So, Catwoman, our germ, and then uh, Wonder Woman, our germ. That great, fully goodness. All right, let's do something fun. Something fun, something fun, something fun. Here's just a bunch of odd variant covers. Um, I'm going to start these out at a dollar each, and I've got 11 of them. But I'm going to go ahead and say, Todd, let's do a starting bid of $10. Even though it's 11 book, and I said a dollar a book, let's go ahead and just do $10. Let's make it even. All right. Okay. Some really cool uh, variant covers. Uh, so this is Avengers um, 24 dot now. So variant cover says right there, variant, pretty cool book. 
I love this variant cover. <laughs> this is the weirdest <laughs> one I've ever seen. So it's Thor, Thor is like, Thor is All right, we done? Is Thor a goat? Yes, he's like, no, it's a stag. See, he's got horns. And he's got the mule near in his mouth, but he's wearing the uh, gauntlet. Captain America is riding his back as an eagle carrying a shield, and Hulk is a bear. How do you know the bear is Hulk? Is it green? It's green. Oh. Yeah, the weirdest cover I've ever seen. I feel like it would make more sense if, if Thor was a goat because he has two goats. Yeah. Uh, Avengers with X Men, a little homage cover. It's like, oh my God, can't believe it's you. Really cool. Mighty Avengers, uh, 1950s variant. Fantastic Four, number one. This is not uh, Scotty Young, this is that other person, uh, K Casey Cook. But uh, yeah, they're that animals. Like they're, anim they're animals. Get it? it? Doesn't even look like Scotty Young. No, but people think cartoon Scotty Young. So I don't know. The thing is like I don't know. That's a bear, giraffe, a mouse, and then the human torch is an elephant. These are cool. These are the Wolverine variants. Agents of Atlas, number three, Wolverine variant. Really cool. It almost looks like that DeMathis artwork um, from that Wolverine and Havoc uh, series back in the 80s, Todd. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Not this, that. Is, this is also a Wolverine variant. This is Exiles, number one. I love this cover. Exiles number five. This is homage to those 1980s variants. So this 75 years, Polaris. I love this Daredevil cover. He won't let me talk to anyone. Wolverine, you bad boy, won't let her talk to anyone. What's wrong with you? So mean. And then, uh, this isn't a variant, but I just thought it was a cool-ass cover. Ultimate Comics Cataclysm number one. And then a uh, little extra. This also is not a variant cover from what I can tell, but Captain America number four, Living Legend. So kind of a cool, I don't know why he's got like, I don't know. He's got an armored thing. He's, but it's a cool cover. So um, 10, 11, actually really cool covers. So if we get up to 15, We'll put in the Miss Marvel 38 Wolverine variant. We get up to 20. We'll put in the Agents of Atlas number nine Quasar variant. This is a one in 10 variant. So all Agents of Atlas stuff is going hot. So 15 and 20. So right now, 11 books, $10. Looks like Marco's in the only bidder right now. We got about a minute left. Show the art germs up close again, Josh is asking. Yeah. Tim's in for 20. So you can see art germ signature right there. And But there are two pretty good spine tips right there see it and then one right there so normally these go for about a hundred dollars but because of fine ticks half price and then the other one is wonder woman and these both are convention exclusive hence the full covers our germ signature and then there's one spine tick right there in the middle these are full covers so you can't press these out uh, you might cold press them and help. Um, neither of the ticks break color, but that's only because they're full. So um, if you want to talk to me about a little more, Josh, I know you bought a lot of stuff from me tonight. Uh, I'll probably make a deal with you on on uh, one of them if you're interested. I love the Wonder Woman. 
All right. Uh, back to this real quick, Todd. So twenty dollars. Thank you, Tim. Marvel so number thirty-eight. Uh, Wolverine variant came in, and then the Agents of Atlas. Anything Agent of Atlas is pretty hot right now. Um, Quasar one and ten variant. So you yeah, have to take both Archims. You could probably let them know how you'll take care of them or whatever. All right. Uh, so you have Agents of Atlas number nine. Quasar variant, Miss Marvel 38, Wolverine variant. Uh, it just says variant. So Avengers 24 shot now. That's, that's what we do of the astonishing X Men number one retailer and center. Oh, you're right. You're right. That is. So the weird animal variant for uh, Avengers 24 point now. I kind of uh, like the eagle with the mask. Yeah, I know the eagle with the mask. Yeah, he would probably hinder his vision though when he's flying and looking for prey. Uh, the Avengers uh, twenty-four point now X Men variant. All right, Mark, Mark folded. Okay, so and going back through it. So Tim, yep, great deal, sir. Especially that Quasar. That is a great book. They're all near men, of course. You know how I do it. Um. And then, uh, Josh, I'll hit you up over on uh, IG in just one second. Cool. Cool. Nice nice little bunch of books, Shelby. Yeah, it is. I thought it was pretty odd. I, I love this. I don't know why Wolverine's being mean to her, though. He won't let me talk to anyone. Wolverine, <laughs> why won't you let them talk to anyone? Wolverine likes to work with the younger kids. She looks too old. But why won't you let her talk to anyone? What, is he like controlling and shit? Okay, we're gonna move on to Sands. Nice hat, Sands. Hey, you know I got my old school hats on cause, cause I'm I'm Silver Age Sands right now. Silver Age Sands is in the house. What's up, everybody? Hopefully everyone's having a great night. It's Saturday night. Let's have some fun. I got the polls right here. You can get five. Uh, excuse me, six. For 25 or 12 for 50. There is still a slab. You saw last round someone pulled that awesome Carnage exclusive convention book. We got other hits in here as well. So feel free to pick up some polls, my friends. Let me show the buy it now really quickly. I, again, I have the Ice Cream Man version in trade. $70 ship on these, $70 ship, and then the labyrinths. I will do the three labyrinths. I will do 105 ship on the three labyrinths, one through three mini series. 105 ship. All right, so we're going to do some Silver Age goodness, maybe a little bit of copper in there or bronze, whatever. Um, but we're going to start off with a 15 center, go to a 20 center, and then a 30 center. So let's do it that way. We're going to start this off at $100, ladies and gents, $100. All right, everybody. We got Amazing Spider-Man number 91. This I would put at a VF to VF plus. Amazing Spider-Man number 91. Next book is a nice Conan key. This is your 20 center. This is Conan number 15. Conan number 15. And lastly, we got an X-Men hit in here. One of the oldies but goodies, a newsstand copy of X-Men number 106. That is Cyclops. Cyclops blasting a hole through the team right there. Old team versus new team. Goodness, 106. We're starting at $100 for these three goodies. Okay, you got a $100 starting line. Teresa. Teresa right. wants 12 pulls. 12 pulls. All right. One, two, three. Three. Five and six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. All right. I will show you that. Let me show the lot one last time. That is Conan the Barbarian. Look that up. Number 15. That's about a $30 to $40 book. You guys all know with this book in a high grade, this is about, I would say, uh, BF plus near minus copy of this X-Men 106. That's about a $70 book right there by itself. And a nice 8-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 91, ladies and gents. Starting line, $100. Teresa, let me show you your polls, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay, off the bat, I see a nice book I like. That is your Star Wars number one, High Republic, the second print. Oh, you got two of those. Um, Teresa, let me know if you want two of these. They're, they're nice hits. But if you want to pull another book, I will. You got Miles Morales, number 23. You got that Swamp Thing, nice key on the Future State, uh, second print. Crossover, number six. You got a Wonder Man, number one, some good 90s goodies. You got Spider-Man McFarlane run, number eight. And number six, Hobgoblin. Nowhere Men, number two. Squadron Supreme, number one. Annual X-Men, uh, this is X-Men Annual number 16, Shatterstar, and Captain Marvel number 24. Captain Marvel number 24. Teresa, let me know if you want to replace the second copy or if you want to keep both copies. Okay, let's see. We got Teresa got her 12 pulls. That sounded good. She got some Star Wars and stuff. We got some. Hmm. I hate to call you out, but you did say Silver. Silver Age Sands. Not not really Silver Age books. Yeah, for being technical. I did say What about this one? Is this one Silver? Uh, it's kind of the that I might be getting beginning copper. It depends on the date. I don't know. That's I'm right. Right at the end of silver. <laughs> right. right. okay. I'm going to replace your book now. You have a dark detective. This is number four. Dark detective number four, Teresa. Great pull. Thank you very much. That'll be sixty dollars, and you can hit me up right below. Silver H. Sands just means he's going and pulling some I know, I'm just teasing. older books. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I I only dabble in this realm a little bit, so I'm getting there. I'm, I'm helping getting you, there. I'm helping you grow. Because <laughs> that book might have been published in like 71. Ah, uh, there you go. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. right on the cusp yeah. there. Uh, 69 GM, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you oh, again next man. round. There's still a slab in there, and I still have spots on the IG waffle. Definitely. Big books there. Thank it you, ladies. Stands up. Got some good stuff for you, some fresh baked cookies. What's up, everybody? Okay. So I had the Falcon series, one through four. I offered it for 20. If nobody wants it for 20, that's okay. How about 16? We'll take. Four dollars off, call it sixteen bucks. If anybody wants the Falcon in their books, just let me know. One through four. Let's see. What did I do for these? I don't remember, so I pulled this And you got a question in the chat? Uh, yes, Southern. I will do the Conan for uh, 40 shipped on the Conan. 40 shipped on the Conan. Okay. Cool. Cool. Dude, Jerry, you, you want that? Dude, dude, Junior Ryan, you want the Falcon for 16? You got it. Hey, sometimes it pays to wait around. Yeah. <sighs> 
boom. Done and done. Okay, I have uh, the car Carnage Black, Black, Light, and Blood Cal New number two version and trade set. I can do the set for $50, the trade and the virgin. What's up? Uh oh, did Kevin claim it already? I don't know. I, did, I missed it. But I'll tell you what, Kevin, if you did, I'm pretty sure I have another set. Correct, Southern. You are right. You still have a box, my friend. Did I miss a claim on the Falcon? I don't see it, Kevin, but. I don't see it either. Did it get it first? I'm not sure if that's even what it means. Yeah, I didn't see one either. So, Kevin, if you want, if you want a Falcon set, I'm sure I have another. You just let me know. Oh uh, well, no, dude, dude, Duran just claimed the Falcon. Yeah, right. I I got that, but I'm saying I have right. another set. Oh, okay. Believe it or not, I have more than one Falcon set. Crazy me. Well, Billy, I have one. I got. See, now I'm in a pickle. <laughs> I got the one got claimed by dude Jerry Ryan. And I gotta give the second one to Kevin because if he's a claim. Yeah, we, Kevin, can you clear that up for us? Were you claiming Falcon or, or he what? says I'll claim second Falcon Falcon now, so I gotta give Kevin the uh the on the second. Billy, I'll try to find you a set. I don't know if I have a third, but I'll I'll see what I can find. So I have the Carnage books to set for fifty dollars. Uh, let me see, Kevin B, Billy Stewart, Falcon, one through four. Okay. I'm going to have to dig for that one, Kevin, so be patient, but I'll find it, and I'll try to take care of you, too. Yeah, I figures, Keith. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> well, you guys are too much. Well, if you don't want if you just just get something else, you know? Okay, here. Here, I have Falcon in the Winter Shoulder 1 and 2. I'll sell those for 12 bucks. Buy it now. Falcon in the Winter Soldier 1 and 2. $12. Now you got just like the TV show. Until he becomes Cap. Anybody want those two for 12 If not, that's cool. Hmm. This is kind of cool. I might keep this, but I'll get it. If somebody wants this for 10 bucks, this Loki Carnage Eyes number one, that's pretty cool. So if somebody wants it for 10 bucks, I'll sell it. Otherwise, I don't mind keeping it. But it's a cool cover. I'm sure I can find it again if somebody wants it. Cool. Let's see, let's see. I still got the the Boba Fett by Miko Cyan for forty available. The Virgin, if anybody's interested.
Okay. Okay. You want the Miko Boba Fett Southern? You got it. That's a cool cover. He's like walking in the cantina with his hand on his gun, ready for action. What happened? Where did those go? Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's do some. Let's do some Ghost Rider. Some nice Copper Age Ghost Rider. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Seven books. We'll start this with $25. Whoops. East. $25 starting line. We got Ghost Rider 63. These are all pretty nice books. They're like finds the VFs. Ghost Rider 63. Ghost Rider 66. Well, Lynn Witch. This is pretty cool. One sixty-eight. 68. Featuring the origin of the Ghost Rider. So you got Mephisto in that one. Sixty nine. Mad Spidey's in at thirty. We got seventy. Freaks. Uh, 72, Ghost Rider beating up a clown. And then 77, revealed at last the secret origin of the demon who resides within Johnny Blaze. It was Agatha all along. That's what it seems so. It would seem so. Unless it was Colonel Mustard with a candlestick in the library. So we got Mad Spidey in for 30. Seven books in total. Three, four, five, six, seven. I still have some nice uh, uh, Doctor Strange books. I don't know. Isn't there a Condiment Man? Maybe that's from DC. Anyway, sounds like DC. Um, got some Doctor Cool Doctor Strange books coming up for next round. We still have. The three book super chat available for every super chat dollar, you get an entry in the wheel. We've got the, the David Nakayama non stop Spider Man one with the Archie homage. We got Fantastic Four Antithesis number two for us, Galactus Black, and then we got a cop, a first print Silver Surfer Black number one. So every dollar super chat gets you entered in to win those three books. And then after whoever wins those books, their name will be taken out of the wheel. And I'll do a consolation spin for some Gorilla Bucks. Could be Pace Pop, Pete. So let's see. We got 40 seconds left. Two, 
So you got some key key uh, origin books. Not really key as well. I don't know. Miners, origins, and reveals in this slot. And Ghost Rider beating up a clown. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Let's hit that reset. Hit that end line. And Mad Spidey, you got these for 30. Thank you very much, Mad Spidey. We totally miss you. Don't don't think we're trying to replace you. We totally miss you on Teacher's Lounge. And I got a fat stack of strangeness for Yep. Put that on the pallet. <laughs> you got it, my friend. And we will move right over to Jamie. Jay Allen, JP, sorry. <laughs> All right, gonna go with some X Men stuff. Got Cable number five, Tyler Kirkham, Virgin, and another Future Boy, Chris Bishop, X Men two eighty two. Start at fifteen. The 282 is probably about a nine. A few ticks. A couple little, you know, like rub or a white spot on top, maybe. Hi. The cable is in perfect shape. Kevin's in at 16. We got a first appearance of Bishop. We got some another X Men book. We got Kevin Bixby with the high bit of sixteen. We got about a minute fifty seconds left on the timer. I throw in my first cable too, but it's at CGC right now. So three months already it hasn't been graded yet. I do also have a couple of extra slides. Okay, we got about 40 seconds left on the timer. Now's your chance to get in on this first appearance of Bishop.
Okay, that's the timer. Go ahead and reset that. Let's see here. It looks like Kevin's alone bitter at 16. End line's coming in. Kevin's going to take the lot down for $16. There's your end line, and we will move over to French Quarter. All right. Hello again, everyone. Uh, this round, buy it now. I'm going to put up a slab. This is Thundercats number one, with the Ed McGinnis uh, run from 2012. It's in a CGC 9.8. I'll do a buy it now this round for $100 ship. Hmm. That's an Art Adams cover, isn't it? Yeah, they're, uh, this is the one where they had both guys do different covers, I think, or both work on the covers yeah. together. A little confusing. But uh, it does say Arthur Adams and one by Ed McGinn. Two different covers. So. Uh, of course, they are doing a live action Thundercats movie. It can be directed by the guy that just directed um, Godzilla vs. Kong. So the original Thundercats line is blowing up, and um, this one probably is going to start going up as well. So 9-8, very good for you, ready to go. $100 shift on that. And for my auction, I'm going to start this at a very, very reasonable $85. Mm -hmm. Big spec book. Eternals number three. This is the first appearance of Cersei. Kevin Feige has already come out and said, here's a lead character in this ensemble cast movie. It is going to be Gemma Chan Cersei. Uh, this one is going to go, I think, way, way up once that movie comes a little closer, once we see more trailers in November and the, the film comes out. Wasn't she in Captain Marvel? I don't know if she was in that. My wife tells me that she was in... Um, Crazy Rich Asians, which I did not see. She was in Captain Marvel. The, the, the first of the team that, like, Danvers was on. Oh, okay. I think she was that one alien. And this is in Muni, by the way. So what did you say you are going to start this at? 85. 85. As you can see, it is a new stand. Eternals, number three. First appearance of Cersei. Corner there is a little soft. I'd say overall this is probably a, about a 7, 5, or 8. It has not been pressed, but there is room for improvement. I've actually been specking on this book kind of hard lately because... I think, uh, again, Cersei's going to be the breakout character of this, based on what Kevin Feige was talking about in an interview. Well, we finally saw a little bit of footage from it in that last Marvel trailer of upcoming films. Uh, she certainly seems to be front and center. Eternals 1, of course, is getting pretty out of reach. Uh, for, for modest buyers, but right now, number three might be the better way to go if you're looking for an eternal spec before the movie. Got Jeff Silversmith in for 85. That should tell you everything you need to know. Jeff does not bid on dogs. <laughs> Good to see you, Jeff. Hey, Dave Dare. Absolutely. Welcome. Thanks for dropping the Trooper Gorillas and cookies. Thank you, good sir. What do you think is the uh, grade on this again, uh, French? Uh, about a seven five, I would say conservatively. Hasn't been cleaned or pressed. So it can even go up after that. Absolutely. I, I think there's definitely room for improvement with the press. So the seven O's are selling at over $120. And if it can go up, this is probably, you're probably looking at about a $140 to $150 book. So there's a lot of meat on this bone. He started it off fairly low. I sure Trying did. to give everybody a deal. 
in a slow night. I'm trying to get something going. And so, yeah, this, this is a bargain, I think. Guys, look it up for yourself. This book and a 7580 will net you well into the 140, 150 range. It's only going to go up and we'll get a quick trailer of this movie, and then when we see the film itself. I don't know if you're familiar, everyone, but uh, the Eternal movie is directed by Chloe Zhao, who just won the Oscar for Best Director and Best Picture for Nomadland. And uh, people at Marvel Studios think this is going to be really one of the most uh, different, unusual Marvel films. Uh, so I think there's going to be. A lot of eyes open with, with this movie. Okay, well, that was the timer and lines coming in. Jeff, I'm happy to send it your way, buddy. Take care, brother. We'll see everybody next round. What's up, Shelby? Hey, buddy. How you feeling? Oh, I, I'm I'm wearing out. I think it's gonna be my last one. It's almost. You got one more. You think you got one more after this in you? I don't know if I got anything left to really sell. You got something. I got pulled out. Oh, no. Come on, uh, Shelby. We're having an all nighter here. No, actually, I was thinking of going one more round. I wanted Shelby to make it to the end. Yeah, no, I'm just messing with him. Because we're going to hit four. I, you know, we're going to hit four hours and uh, yeah. anywhere. All right. So, I think the movie's going to look like none. Of, it's going to look like nothing else tomorrow. But sorry, Shelby. Go. <laughs> I read Jeff's chat in my brain. All right. So uh, kind of a little horror theme again. So nice. five books, a dollar a book, five dollars. Diablo House, IDW, number one. Diablo House, Retailer Incentive, number one. Grimm's Fairy Tales from Zenoscope, Dance of the Dead, number one. After Dark from Millennium, number one. This is 1995, and this is an anthology book. It's got like five or six short stories in it of some uh, horror stuff. They, uh, I'm not sure if Millennium ever published them or not, but it was supposed to be like an introduction of some uh, horror books they were going to put out. But really good stories. I read a few of them. Um, the first one has Jack the Ripper as a vampire, so it's kind of cool. And then from uh, Scott Snyder, Severed, number one. So five cool horror books if you're into horror. Josh is in for five. What's up, GODFW? So, IDW, Diablo House, number one, regular cover. It's like the house, the evil thing in that? I don't know. It's called Diablo House, so. It says, Diablo House is a welcome throwback to the classic days of horror comics. So. Cool. Diablo House Retailer Incentive, number one. Xenoscope, Grimm's Fairy Tales, Dance of the Dead, starring Mystere. She's got that cool flaming sword fighting some ghouls, it looks like. And then I guess the chick with the green hands is Mystere. I'm not sure. After Dark, uh, it's black and white comic, but anthology. I, I really recommend it. 1995. You know, some good little short stories in here. Like I said, it's about five or six short stories. So, and then Scott Snyder, I love anything he does. Severed, so I can only imagine what this might be. Um, but Severed, number one, uh, second printing. So, try that out. And that's from Image Comics. So, a nice little collection of horror number ones. Something a little old, something a little new, something a little bloody, something a little decapitated. Well, 
what is a theme here? Looks like maybe it's maybe vampire theme. I don't know. She got some crazy teeth going. Hey, Dave Durr. Don't even ask about your stuff. I'm packing it up. Okay, well, that was the timer. All right, Josh, you're getting a nice little set of some horror books, buddy. I appreciate all the business tonight. You've been a great friend and customer and all that good stuff. You um, can't make it another round. I, don't, I won't force you, man. If you, 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 It's your call. I can see you're tired. If you want to hang around. I'll, I'll try and hang around a little bit. Okay. If you're still around when it's your turn and you want to sell something, it's good to go. Thanks. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Over in each sands. Yes, I'm just going to hang out with the hat for a little while. Show some love to everybody. Um, buy it now. We got some classic X-Men right here. This is 25 Centers, number 70. Number 78 <coughs> and number 84. These are all VG to VF, 70 to 84. So 70, 78, and 84. Good X Men hits. Um, I will do 80 shipped on the X Men. Or um, if you want the 106 in here, I will do 140 shipped. Um, got the pull box still a slab in there still some good hits in there it is um six for 25 or 12 for uh 50 six for 25 or 12 for 50. let me know ladies and gents and then this round we're gonna do some indie goodness indie goodness we're gonna start off with One, two, three, four, five, six books. Yes, old school newsstand. Um, we're gonna start this off at fifty bucks. Fifty bucks for some something is killing the children. Okay, fifty dollars starting line coming in. Fifty dollars again. We still got a slab in here, right there. It's the CDC nine point four, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. What's up, David Martinez? Good to see you. What's up, D Martinez? So we got sick number one, the eighth print. We got sick number 10, the second print. We got once in future number one, two, three, and number seven. $50 starting bid. And let me see. Pop wants six pulls. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. All right, pop. Let's see what you got. Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal, Captain Marvel, number twenty one. Spawn number 17, uh, 317. Future State Flash number one. Ah, uh, <laughs> my friend. Pop. And you got a death metal number seven. That is yours, my good man. Nice, Papa Willie. You pulled the slab. That is yours. Oh, cool. Congratulations, Papa Willie. Oh, crap. Papa Willie luck. Never yeah. fails. I know, that's, right? That's 25 plus uh, it'll be 15 shipped, Pop. 15 shipped. Again, we're starting this off at $50, ladies and gents. 
We still got some other nice hits in the box. If anyone wants pulls, six for 25 or 12 for 50. We do have some other things that can come in. Teresa's in at 50. All right. If we got it up to 85, that would come in, Teresa. That's your Department of Truth. Uh, number seven, Johnny Disarani. That would come in along with this. If we got it to uh, 85, you would get a silver coin, number one. And also the Department of Truth number seven. Those two come in at 85. And then if we got it to one, 145, you get a copy of Eve and Ice Cream Man number 24. And lastly, if we got it to 210, you get a copy of the Scorpion Ice Cream Man's number 24, and I'll pull those out in a second as well if we have any interest. Again, 210, and that com that all comes in. Two copies, you get the Alan Qua Ice Cream set and the Scorpion Ice Cream Man number 24, the creepy cover. So again, Teresa's the only one bidding yeah. right now. Sorry, the timer went off. I had I had a mute because I got a quick phone call. I had a quick phone call. Oh, no worries. In but, line uh, is about to drop. Yep. Teresa, if you want these extra books before no one else gets in, again, these are uh, this week will come in at eighty-five, and you can get everything. Wait, uh, that would be up to Teresa. Unfortunately, yeah, he Keith came in a little late after the end line. Yeah, he didn't hear the uh, he didn't hear the buzzer, so it'd be up yeah. to Teresa if she wants to allow him in. Um, right now, Teresa, you have the option to take these extra books all the way up to two hundred and ten dollars, where Ice Cream Man copies come in. Keith, hit me up. I got extras. If you need anything, my brother, I do have extras on the copies. Teresa, let me know what you want to do. And thank you so much. Ladies and gents, check my IG. I'm telling you, the raffle, something is killing the children. You've seen it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Listen to the man. Something is killing the children. Number 16 is killing it. So I have all of those issues. Thank you so much. Teresa, uh, you know how to reach me, my friend. Uh, it'll be 50 and you already have, um, it'll be six extra dollars to upgrade you um, to uh, the next box, Teresa, six extra dollars. So thank you very much. And Keith, hit me up if you need anything that you saw. What's up, Josh Noons? Good to see you, man. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you man. Hey, Josh, good to see you, man. Glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, that sand raffle is insane. Um, so uh, we're just about, we're just almost 10 minutes less than four hours. So it looks like this is probably going to be the last round. Um, but don't run away because we'll do the We'll do the super chat giveaway at the end after everybody goes. I'll let everybody get a last chance. We got Silver Surfer Black number one. We got Fantastic Four, Antithesis number two, the first Galactus Black, and then we have this nonstop Spider Man number one, David Nakayama variant. Okay, so that, you know, this is a $20 book. Uh, I don't know what silver, you know, this is, was pretty hot. It's probably going for a few bucks, and Silver Surfer Black is worth a couple bucks. So, you know, I figure if you if you if you go for a couple bucks, you got a chance to win the books, and then if you don't win the books, the winner of the books gets taken out, and I do like a consolation drawing, and they'll get some gorilla bucks. So at least at least two out of the two people out of everyone who super chats will get some comics. Um. Oh, 
I guess I can run through some buy it now. So let me see what I still got. I got the carnages. Uh, I can do a set. I'll tell you what. If somebody wants a set, I can knock five bucks off and do it for forty-five. The Virgin in trade book cover. I'll do like since it's the end of the night. Forty-five bucks on the set. If anybody's interested. Thank you, Dave Durr, for the seven dollar. That's Canadian, so I got to figure out what that is, huh? I'll figure it out. I appreciate the six ninety nine Canadian super chat, Dave Durr. So thank you very much. We'll get you entered in the. I believe it's five bucks, GT. Yeah, that's about what I what I would guess. You know, and I don't know if that's to the cent, but yeah. Um, so we'll get you entered in the super chat, Dave Durr. For sure, and if anybody else wants to, you know, you have until the end of this round. We'll come back to me, and I'll we'll make sure we spin the wheel. Um, what happened? Why is that there? Mm -hmm. I don't even think I've shown this one tonight, but that's the Peach Momoko uh, Batman Adventures 5. Really cool cover. Got the Virgin in trade. Um, the ver the I have the Virgin at 35 and the and the trade at 25. Uh, so 60 for the set. If somebody wants both, I can knock off. Uh, I can do it for 50, knock off 10 bucks. Um, so instead of 60, as they would be individually, I'll do them 50 for the set. If anybody's interest, interested. Mm -hmm. And then the Cult of Dracula, Hot Jaw. Limited edition trade and virgin. I'll do a set. If somebody wants a set, I'll knock one out for 25. I like to give deals at the end of the night just for those people who are hanging out. What's up, Anthony? I'm doing good. Good to hear from you. So 25 bucks if somebody's interested. Um okay, I'll run through the slabs once more. Got Secret Wars number eight and a nine six. 500 shipped and insured on that. I'll show that one a million times. Got the Harley Quinn 75s, either one. I got the Jan Chiletto cover. 100 bucks shipped and insured. Cal New, $100 shipped and insured. Got Venom Hip Hop by Sinkavich, number one in a 9.8. 250 shipped and insured. Had a good day today. Anthony, day's been great. And then Strange Academy, number one, second print in a 9.8. 125 shipped and insured. So if any of those, anybody's interested in any of those, just let me know. Tons of slaps. Okay. Oh, we got a super chat from Tim. Thank you very much, Tim, for five bucks. So let's write you down. Um... Tim Koski times five. Okay, thank you so much for the $5 super chat, Tim. We appreciate that very much. Um, 
You know what? I'm just going to do a, a Doctor Strange buy it now, and then I'll do a Doctor Strange auction. Because... Uh. Anthony's asking you all kind of questions from Facebook. Yeah, no, Anthony's cool. He's a he's a former student of mine from Florida. Don't sweat it. He wants me to draw, do a drawing. I'll do your drawing and send it to you, Anthony. Don't worry. You got it. Um, basically, here's what I got. I got Doctor Strange 2 through 10. Th these are some beautiful books by Frank Bruner. Two. And they're all in real nice shape. Like pretty much VF average. Number four is a little probably the roughest of the book of the of the bunch. And really it's just it's just kind of a little funny. But these are really clean, beautiful books. Number five. Number six. Just beautiful, beautiful covers. No, that was the original Secret Wars number eight, not the Miles Morales. No, that was Marco. That was, this is Secret Wars eight from 1984. This is the real deal. Not the, where is it? Look, I got the Miles one. How much for both of them together? That's the real one. How much are they both together? Both together. I mean, I got five on this one. I've been asking three fifty on that one. I'll do them both for eight. Nice. Okay. Eight hundred. So eight hundred for both. And this one's this one's triple signed by by Beatty Zek and Shooter. And this is a nine six Secret Wars eight. Yeah, five hundred on this one alone. Todd, Matt, Spidey, put in a buy it now for your Doctor Strange. I didn't even get there yet, Matt, Spidey. And then I got, so I got 8, 9, and 10. So, Spidey, I was going to do a $200 buy it now. If you want it, you can have it. You, you've been to Doctor Strange, but it's 200 bucks. I'm just, you know, these are serious books. Just let me know about Spidey. You got it, man, Spidey. Yeah, those are sweet, sweet. Like I love Frank Burns stuff. I almost I almost don't want to sell them, but I need space. Yeah, that's a great pickup. You know, it's a good price too. It really is. These are they're nice books. So and then I got a little junior. I was gonna do the auction. Uh just a little run. One, two, three, four, five, six, six books. Um I'll just start these at twenty bucks. Uh got Doctor Strange forty five. These are these are yeah. Something about Doctor Strange just lends himself to cool freaking covers. Monsters and Magic. It's like 46. Reality War. 47. Icon, The Lord of Illusions. Oh, that one's cool. Who did that one? Yeah, of course. Marshall Rogers. <laughs> Got him like meditating. Classic Marshall Rogers art. Yeah, these are some good issues. I love Marshall Rogers' run on Detective and his Doctor Strange run. Man. Oh, look at this one with Nightmare. 
52. So we got a $20 starting line. Josh Nunes is in at 20. You can bid, man, Spidey. Nobody's stopping you from bidding. Come on. <laughs> I can get more. I, I have more Doctor Strange, uh, Matt Spidey. If you want Doctor Strange, I can load you up on Doctor Strange. I think he's just asking if this lot, is, if any of these appear in the ones that he already bought. No, no, no. Is that? Oh, no, no, no. The, your lot was two through ten of this series. Issues two through ten. Straight yeah. rolling. That those are the early, except for number one, which is probably in high grade is probably hundreds of dollars right now. I don't know what. No, I'm not. I don't know off the top of my head. You know, it's a lot of times benefit you guys. You get a few hundred boxes of comics, and it's hard to keep track. But these are later issues. These are all. This is 45, 46, 47, 49, 50, and 52. So there's that no no doubling up, no. Nice, yeah. You picked up number one off beta, so that gives you now you got one through ten. Nice, it's like the perfect lot built for you. And these are all later issues. You know, those are from the 70s. These are the 80s. So Mad Spidey's in at 31. Got about 25 seconds left. I don't know if anybody looks like I don't know. I'm, I guess yeah, you look for stuff, but I just kind of like if I see something cool and I can get a good price on it, I tend to buy it. We got Mad Spidey in. We still got Joshua in. So it's at thirty-one. Let me go through these again. Yeah, these are this is classic Marshall Rogers. This is great artwork on these issues. I mean, at some point I pick them up because oh, you folded, Josh. My bad. I didn't see it. You did. You did. Okay, so. Spidey's going to take these down for 31. End line coming in. Okay. We'll move right over to Jalen. Thank you so much, everybody. Sorry I missed that fold. Is this the last round? Yeah, man, because we're, we're going over four hours now. Okay. I'll do indie books. Akira number one, a cover. Only find them when they're dead, a cover. Geiger, number one, a cover. You promised me darkness, a cover. Shadecraft number one, a cover. Something that's killing children number one, eighth print. And not even number one, a cover. Start at 75. Okay. Seventy-five dollars starting line. There we go. Get your timer. That Nottingham right there alone is is worth almost a lot. Yep. 
Have a good night, Mad Spidey. Thanks for coming through. And I have a big stack behind me to add in of a lot more variants of these and other number ones. Josh is in for 75. Yeah. Got the hat. Huh? Josh is in. What else you where what's coming in at what? Other than all those, I have Geiger C cover, the fab off. Dark red number one, the C two E two exclusive. Ooh. Red Rabbit, one and two before it was recalled. I think it's called Dead Eyes now. Or gonna be when it starts coming out again. Hellboy in the Chapel of Malak. Moloch. So I got the Noctara number one, Glow in the Dark. The one in 25. And the boss logic. Nice. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. When when was the other stuff coming in? At what number would they start coming in? Uh, other books will start coming in at ninety. All right. So we're at seventy five right now. Ninety starts adding more books. And then if you yes, get all over two fifty. Two fifty gets you everything. Is that what you said? 250 gets yeah. you everything? Yeah. So Josh goes to 90. This is the Miko Swayan variants of uh, Nottingham 1. This one right here is limited to 100. And this one, I do believe, is limited to 300. Okay, Anthony's in for 95. We have multiple bidders, so we'll keep building. I know. That whole stack is in. Sans, you going in for 250? Is that? That is accurate. Okay, just making sure. Okay. Oh, man, those, those Nottingham's alone is worth almost. The Nottingham's alone are worth about 250. Right, they're almost 200 by themselves. So. <laughs> Look at Southern. Southern know what we got. Southern, I'm not giving this up, brother. No, you, you probably will have a number that'll beat me, but I want this lot. I also have the Geiger one per store somewhere in a box. <laughs> like a card shop. Card shop says he's holding back. Sanctuary's um, 265, Southern's a 270. Oh, here comes Anthony out the woodworks. Oh. Anthony bit earlier, so he was already in. Oh man! Hey, gotta give credit where credit's due. Right? Did you ever pick up the uh, the cat cover, the one in five? Sands yeah, did that. Five. When does the uh, something you promised me darkness, the cat, and uh, and the one per store come in? Is that three hundred? Uh, that's got to be three fifty, I think. I have to go get those. <laughs> Well, I just dropped the hammer, so we good. <laughs> Damn you, Southern. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to fold. You might as well get the... Josh is in at 350. Plus. He wants it all. Yep. Wait, Josh folded, and then he's taking the extra book, so he came back in. Darn you. Yeah, 
Did he really fold or just say all you, bro? Technically, that is no fold. No, he said he said at Sands fold. Oh, was he telling you to fold? See, that's Maybe. where it gets confusing because I didn't even read that as a fold. Anthony folds as well. Sands folds. Did a, new book bigger, uh, the did, a, did a new book come in before the 350 bid? Yeah, he had, he had would as you put the Nocturus? As long as something was added, that's fine. Yeah, the Nocturus, the glow-in-the-dark stuff started coming in. Uh, 350, the uh, the one per store Geiger won the black and white. And uh, you promised me darkness, one in five, the cat cover. Ooh, Josh gets the win. I just have to find them. Okay. So we're jumping in line. Josh is taking this awesome lot down. Good way to finish the night strong. My gosh, that was a nice set of indies. It's a nice, nice lot you got there, Jalen. Nice. I have doubles and triples of most of these. All right, Jalen, I will hit you up for for those doubles. Thank you very much. Okay. I just have to find the last two books, and I'll send you a picture of them. Whatever one. Sounds good. Josh. Cool. Yeah, that proceeds to the Jalen Rookie of the Year Audio Fund. They're, yeah, they're, rooting, for can, they're rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> French Quarter, how you doing? All right. Welcome to the final round, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate everything that uh, y'all have contributed tonight, all you in the chat. Uh, going to get a little weird here in the last round. Uh, I've got the Rick and Morty 37, which is a homage to X-Men 141. Uh, Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Go Collect has a fair market value on this one, the cover ver color version of $100 right now. I'll be honest, you can find it for less than that on eBay right now. But what you can't find is the set. Boom! You got the Pickle Rick set! Oh my God! This is the black and white retailer incentive that goes along with it. Um, these are both by Mike Vasquez. Uh, these, I'll be honest, I'm gonna, I was going to list these tomorrow on my eBay shop uh, uh, under F2 Comics or French Quarter Comics uh, at about seventy-five for a starting bid. But for right now, for tonight, I will give them up. $60 ship if anybody wants both of them together tonight. That's good for just this round only. Tomorrow they go up. And I'm then giving the up. chat. I'm giving the chat to the end of this round. Or yeah, no, I want those two. If nobody bids, I want them too. You and I can fight it out, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle Rick is like one of the four pops I own. Oh, oh my God. Noise. And then for uh, for my auction, going to get a little weird as well. Um, I'm going to start this at $100 opening bid line. It is X Men 244, the first Jubilee. Uh, this is in a very high grade copy. Very nice spine. We all know that all the X Men keys are going through the roof, and Jubilee is one that we No way, Dave. No way. No, we, we can't ship to Canada right. on this one. We can't ship to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I will do Dave a solid. If you can't ship it to Canada, you can ship it to me, and I'll ship it to him. <laughs> Same deal I have with Matt Spidey. <laughs> we love you, Dave. I'm what just messing with you, bro. Jubilee. I'm gonna throw in what is a twenty-five dollar value about right now. Uh, the Marvel Universe Jubilee figure, which is. Very rare. It was very hard to find even when these were out a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put both these in for the $100 starting bid, and that is the auction round. Okay. Oh, my yeah. God. This is awesome. So you get your Jubilee. You get the standard. <laughs> you, get the, you know how I would have fought it out, Sands? Oh, my gosh. I would have said, which, which one do you want more, the black and white or the color one? <laughs> I would have I wanted the black and white. 
And I would have said, fine, I'll take the color one. I want it because I love Pickle Rick. I don't care about the, the value or the or the yeah, limit yeah. or any of that stuff. That's so, my guy. That's my guy. Oh, yeah, these are I, big books, too. I figured oh. I figured that's the way you would have went. You know me well, sir. Would have made us both happy. But right now, let's help let's help French Quarter finish strong. Who wants some awesome Jubilee? First appearance, X-Men 244. Those X-Men books are going bananas. Her jacket's yellow like a banana. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> this auction's getting bananas. When, we, when are you ever going to get the book and the figure? That's the thing. I, I try and come through and make it a little interesting for you all tonight. I've got quite a selection of Marvel Universe figures on my eBay listing, by the way. If anyone wants to check those out later on, just search for FQ Comics as the seller ID. Got uh, quite quite a selection of those, along with some other toys and statues and comics. But mm. right now, this is all here for you for a much lower price and without paying the eBay fees and taxes and the markup that we have to do there. So, if you're interested, now's the time. You can also IG me, uh, hit me up on IG at FQ Comics if you see something that you're interested in. You want to work out a deal that's less than what the eBay listing is? I certainly will listen to offers on there, and you can make something out where you can make a direct payment. So, check me out on both of those. All right, Josh, you're asking for the grade. Um, this is, uh, in my mind, this is an easy nine plus, maybe mid nine. Um, again, I don't see any flaws on here it does need a press um you know if, if you're going to grade it you're going to want to give it a quick clean and press anyway i think squeeze the most out of it but see everything's pretty sharp on it yes dave this is the first appearance of jubilee yeah that's the first appearance for jubilee's very first appearance ever x-men 244. Jubilation Lee. Protege of Wolverine. All right. Well, we have no bids on that, I guess, huh? So what was the uh what was the verdict on this? How are we how are we splitting this up? Sands is well, getting the black and white. And no, Dave Dark. Oh, Dave took it. Oh, Dave, Dave Dark claimed it. He's yeah. just he's in Canada, so are you okay shipping to Canada? Dave is in for hundred, by the way. Oh, okay. So he's taking everything. All right. Then, uh, yeah, Dave, uh, I'll tell you what. Let me uh, – I'm happy to ship to Canada. Let me work out what the, the actual shipping would be. So hit me up on IG with your uh, your address, and uh, I will send you an invoice with total shipping for everything, and, uh, and we'll, we'll get it worked out for you. Cool, cool. Nice pickup, Dave. And, Thank Dave, you. I'm just waiting on your T-shirts to ship you freaking T-shirts. It's complicated. <laughs> oh. Shelby, how you feeling? You uh, up for another round, or you want to just? Yeah, let's do. Let's see, what I got around here. Um, how about <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh yeah, <laughs> speaking of pickle Rick, uh, Selenia. So I do have the Pickle Rick uh, Jesus variant on my eBay store, I think, for $80. Nah, nobody wants religious Pickle Rick. <laughs> it's not religious Pickle Rick. It's just that's the artist thing. Oh. <laughs> I thought that crossed too many lines. Anyway. Hey, I don't know everything. That's true. All right, I'm going to start this out at $10, triple signed, Iron Fist number one. So it is signed by the writer, Brinson. It's signed by the artist, Perkins. And then it's signed by the um, cover artist, uh, Jeff DeCall. So triple signed. You get that Shelby Comics Certificate of Authenticity, which means nothing. Uh, but these are actual signatures. Iron Fist number one, ten dollars starting price. 
just for y'all. That is a good deal. Mike Perkins is a nice man, a good artist. I got a Deathlock sketch from him. There, there's a, a, a French Quarter's Instagram, Dave. I just put in the chat. Josh is in for 10. That's a good bid, Josh. That's a cool book. Triple yeah. signed. Triple is that Mike Perkins, Pentecal? Nice. Yeah. Per, uh, DeCall did the cover. Yeah, there's his sig. There's his sig. But there's his real signature there. Yeah, yeah. Perkins is the artist on the inside, and Brinson has a really goofy signature that he's the writer. Okay, Javier's in for fifteen. So, and you know, it's a clean, clean, clean book. You know, no tickets or anything. It's a beautiful book. Like, I only, it, you wouldn't even need to clean and press this if you want to send it in to CBCS. I don't know what that was. Nice. You got some more from Perkins, too? Sweet, Josh. Yeah, Perkins signature you can read, and then the call you can compare to what's on the cover, and you can tell it says the call. Like I said, Brinson, I have no idea what the hell Brinson's doing. No, that looks like Perkins and the call signature. The call's from Florida. I used to see him all the time. Yeah, I have no idea what Brinson's doing there. What that is, but I've uh. I've compared with the artist database that um, CBCS uses. It's a computerized thing they do, and I've compared all these signatures. So I, I know the people that bought it from. So Josh is in for twenty. Got about 50 seconds left on the timer. Yeah, so we still have Javier and okay, Javier and Josh. Okay. Yeah, beautiful triple sign book. You don't see too many triple sign books. You know what's even more rare? A triple sign, triple cover. That would be. Each signature would get their own cover. Huh? I have a quadruple signed slab. Nice. Javier's in for 21. Josh comes back at 25. I know somebody who's got a third print, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, signed by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird with a Peter Laird sketch in it. Yeah, yeah Eastman always does sketches. Um, yeah, Laird it doesn't. Very often. Blair doesn't very often at all. Javier folds. Dave Derrick comes in at 26. They're looking for two grand for that book. Josh is in for 30. Yeah, now Eastman didn't do a sketch on this one. Normally does a little turtle head. I've got a couple of his signatures. I got him to send my teenage, my number one fourth print, and he did the little turtle sketch head. Yeah, the other two signatures of his I have, he has a turtle head on it. I'm sure he's signing so many of these damn books for uh, um, street, level, street level hero that he just, you know. Yeah, when you got a few hundred of them lined up. Yeah. Yeah, so Dave Dare folds. Josh is the high bit of 30. And then Javier folded. So I think that Josh is taking it down for 30. That is a great deal, buddy. Nice. Yeah. And then we'll finish strong with the Cookie Man. 
cookie. Mm. Man, there was a box of cookies in the workroom at school, and I had way too many. <laughs> I was, I couldn't, I couldn't, on the afternoon, I was done. Man. Oh my gosh. I, I know the feeling, man. You can there OD on I think those Italian bakery cookies. Oh, you can OD on some good cookies, With my brother. Big chocolate chip sticking out of the cookie and the colored sprinkles. And then the one that the cookie with the jelly in them, the chocolate in the middle, and the oh. and dipped in the chocolate. You know I what? Start man? Doing YouTube videos about cookies. We we can do a show. We can do a show. Cool, right? We'll, cookies, we'll, we'll, cookies we'll we love. bring, yeah, we'll bring a box of cookies that we want to discuss. We'll, we'll sample them. We'll, talk we'll send about each other. We'll cookies. send each other different sets of cookies. We'll talk. Who's about gonna watch it with us, dude? You want to hear how ridiculous I am? <laughs> I found on on Amazon. I found the cookies that they used to sell in my elementary school in New York in the cafeteria because I remembered how much I loved them. Were those the little butter cookies, man? Yeah, but butter crunch. Oh, butter crunch. Like was a little two pack. They, they were so good, and then they kind of oh, changed yeah. the recipe. They changed the recipe and made them real hard. They used to be real soft and buttery, and then they got. Mm. After a while, they they changed up on us. So. I didn't even remember that. I just remembered I ordered a box of them a couple of years back, and it was, you know, like everything you remember from childhood, not as good. I'm but sure. It's I'm sure those things right. are very expired by now, wouldn't they? No, they still make them. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Oh, they still make them. Oh. Uh, we, 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 can we can go, go hours. We can go another yeah. hour just talking cookies, ladies and gents. That's what we do. We have uh, some good me... cookies at my school. Oh, <laughs> we're not about cookies? Sorry. That's Linden's. Linden's, the chocolate yeah, chip Linden's. and exactly, the butter, Lisa. The butter crunch. Oh, oh man. Oh, she took me that back to the so bodegas good. up in New York, man. Oh, That's, my God. Uh, I, oh, I, my let goodness. Me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Uh, I got a Spider-Man lot. This is going to be a buy it now for um, uh, 70 it's uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, the one in uh, 50 opera cover. Then you got some Peter Parker. You got number two, number 11, uh, number 28, 113. And then you got the annual uh, Amazing Spider-Man 15, Web of Spider-Man 33, and Spider-Man number 12, the Wolverine new stand. That'll be uh, 70, 70 ship there. Other buy it now again. I had these for 80, um, 70, 70 shipped. All right, I'm gonna close off with some indie. I know everyone was uh, having some fun with indie, so we're gonna we're gonna do a few things. Um, I got some Department of Truth. I got some something is killing the children. I got Ice Cream Man. Some of those all crazy good books. Um, let's start with these right here. One, two, three. I'm going to start this off at I'm going to start this off at 225. 225. And we got more that we can add in. Indie goodness. So Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Ice Cream Man number 24, The Gallagher Goodness from Scorpion Limited to 333. This is number 92. You got Something is Killing the Children number one, the eighth print. You got Something is Killing the Children number six, the first print. You got Department of Truth number one, the fifth print. You got Department of Truth number seven, the shady M&M cover variant. That's the Virgin. I mean, that's the grayscale and the color. And then lastly, to start us off, we got Department of Truth number one. That is the secret variant. So no, it's not your six, my brother. It is not yours. But it does look familiar. <laughs> uh, so, big books. That's going for a hundred on eBay. You know, something is killing the children. That's going for like eighty now. 
this variant, the fifth print is going for 20 by itself. These sets are going for 100. That right there is going for 100. And we got more that can be, come in. We got Bitterroot number one can come in. Yes. The recently optioned Bitterroot number Regina one. King. Yep. Regina. We got more ice cream man that can come in. But that's not it, ladies and gentlemen. We got that sought after God of War that can come in. Maniac of New York. Dave Durzen for 225. More Ice Cream Man early issues. 10, 15, 15. And we got that recently specced Wind. One, two covers of number one and two and three. So we got a lot that can come in. Um, we're at 225 right now. If we get it up to 250, the God of Wars will come in. God of Wars will come in at 250. But let me run back through. Coming out of his head. He's excited. This ice cream man. Right now, you got about almost $400 of value in this lot right here. We got Ice Cream Man, number 24, the Gallagher's. Something is Killing the Children, number one, the eighth print. Something is Killing the Children, number six, cover A. Department of Truth, number one. This is your uh, fifth print, hard to get. Then you got the Shady M&M covers. Look those up. That's Department of Truth, number seven, the M&M covers. And you got Department of Truth, number one, the Lee Harvey Oswald variant. Ladies and gents, you got about $400 of value right there. And we got more to add. All I want to know is who's coming with me. What's up, Dave? Good to see you, my brother. Again, check out my IG. There are crazy goodness up on there right now. Papa, Wheel Papa Wheelie is so slick. Are there more slabs in the pull box? <laughs> no, more, no more slabs, but there's you want, other. You got, you got the grand prize, Papa Wheelie. No more slabs, but there's you other. You to the market. Good move. So that was the timer. It looks like Dave Dare is going to take down the main Dave. lock for 225. Ooh, this is a big, big win for you, Dave. That's big right there, my brother. Nice right. job, Dave. That's the end line. Ugh. Lucky he lives in Canada because they, they'd have to put out a warrant for his arrest for stealing. <laughs> hey, look, you do what you do, right? You set a number and you live by it. Again, it's like $400, but Dave got it. No one else was in, and that's what we got. Hey. I missed the brakes. He didn't get my bitter root, though. I'll tell you that. That would have had to come in for a lot more. No. I still got some of those New Jack. I don't know if it's Juice or New Jack City. I keep getting confused. They, they have them both. They, they? One, cover, one, cover, one cover came out after the other. Oh, one more bite now. Um, these just came in. If anyone is looking for a glow in the dark vision. Oh, that's cool. Yep, one division glow in the dark. These are forty dollars ship. Forty dollars ship. Right. Thank you so much. Appreciate so, it. Yeah, definitely. I am just finishing up the wheel. We got a, I got a few names to add. If anybody else, now is your last chance. If you want to do a super chat to try and win. The super chat books we have one second here. We got um a couple silver surfer books. I will show you. We got silver surfer black number one. We got nonstop Spider-Man number one, the, the David Nakayama. Archie homage variant and uh, 
Fantastic Four antithesis number two. First Galact Galactus Black. So those are the three books. Thank you, Kevin Bixby, for another super chat. And thank you, Dave Durr. Thank you, Papa Wheelie. Let me get let me get your additional entries entered. And you pretty much have as much time as that takes me. So we got Kevin Bixby for three. So I'm going to copy your name, copy. And remember, if you don't win the books, don't, don't fear. You still, what happened? You still could win the consolation um, gorilla box. So we got Dave Durr. Dave, I'm going to figure it comes out to about six for six ninety nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then. Uh, no, Josh, that was the last one that Dave just got, my friend. We got Papa That's Wheelie it. for three. Thank you, Papa Wheelie. Oh, Papa Wheelie and then I, yep. One, two. Oh. Not yet, not yet. Ah. Oh. Oh, work with me. You know what I feel like sometimes when I'm trying to type? I feel like a gorilla with my big hands and these little keys. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I got Kevin, I got Dave, I got Papa Wheelie. So, okay, we're gonna we're gonna get ready to spin. Let me just make sure I keep track. And I'll do what I can for the for those Falcon series. I seem to have good luck finding them. So. We'll see what I can do. Okay, so. Okay, let me share. Doop, doop. Chrome tab, Wheel of Names. Okay, let's go to the top of the list. We got Kevin Bixby five times. We got Josh Rodriguez five times. We got Lisa Noble five times. We got our goo once. We got Papa Wheelie five times. We got Simon R ten times. We got Card Shop Reality five times. Dave Durzen, one, two, three, four, five, six times. Tim is in five times. Two, three, four, five. Then Kevin Bixby's in for three. Dave Durzen in for six more. And Papa Wheelie's in for three more. So that looks like the whole list. Right? Let me take this down. There we go. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five panel members here tonight. So I'm going to shuffle five times. Okay. Let's see here. So you guys can see the wheel. Let me get it just a little too much. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, Shuffle, I said five times. First shuffle, Josh is on top. Second shuffle, Lisa's on top. Third shuffle, Lisa's on top. Fourth shuffle, Agu's on top. And Dave's on top on the fifth shuffle. I will now spin. This is for the three books. Did Keith come in in the last minute? Uh, did somebody just come in? Keith's in for 99. Yeah, I'll get Keith in. I'll get you in there, Keith. That's no big deal. 
Okay, so you got one. You're in for 99 cents, Keith. We get you in there once. Let's do Keith now. Okay. And I'm going to shuffle it once more because just to keep things shuffled. Okay, so now we will spin. This is for the three books. And the winner is... Good luck, everyone. Sorry, Joe. Uh, for Keith. Funny. Uh, Kevin yeah. Bixby. I have bad news, Kevin. You didn't win the Gorilla Bucks this time. You won the books. Congratulations. So I'm going to remove all instances of Kevin. Okay. So, Kevin, you got these? These are how small I am. You can't even see me, but I'm up here with the books. You got those, Kevin? And then now I'm going to shuffle it once more. And <laughs> the consolation spin is going to be for 15 Gorilla Bucks. You guys took care of me on the Super Chat, so I'm going to do my best to take care of you on the Gorilla Bucks. And we're going to spin. Let me make sure I don't see Kevin Bixby in here anywhere. Okay. And this is for the consolation $15 in Gorilla Bucks. Simon R. You got it, my friend. I will reach out to Simon if you're not here. Congratulations, Simon. I will reach out on Instagram. I talked to Simon, so we are good there. We will stop sharing. Cool. Let's, uh, you guys want to pop on? Say any last. Congratulations to the winners. Kevin Bixby got that. Kevin, you got the Super Chat books. Congratulations. Simon R., you got the Gorilla Bucks. Thank you to everybody in the chat for all the bids, the buys, for hanging out. Um, thank you to all my panel members. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, You guys, if you guys have anything you want to say to any of the, to the chat, to the people. Uh, yes. What's up, everybody? Thank you all for hanging out tonight. Um, you can catch me tomorrow. I'll be on with Strictly um, Affordable Auction. Um, again, check out my IG. An amazing waffle is up there. That's a raffle for you that don't know the, the term there. $50 for an entry, 19 covers of Something is Killing the Children, number 16. Once again, guys, thanks for coming out, hanging out. This is Gorilla Todd's amazing auction. Smash that like button. Make sure you sub up his channel and sub up all your panel members. Greatly appreciate everybody. Take care. I concur. I just want to thank everyone uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, Todd, thank you very much for having me on. It was a pleasure to be here and an honor to be on this panel. Uh, hope everyone uh, had a great time tonight and uh, came away with what you're looking for. Uh, again, just hit me up on IG at FQ Comics or check out my eBay listings under that name. Uh, not sure when my next auction is going to be, uh, possibly middle of next week. Um, and then next weekend, I'll be at Pensacon in Pensacola, Florida, looking for some great new books to sell you guys uh, after that. So nice. Thanks again. Awesome. <laughs> I want to say thank you and sorry for all the background noise. No, that's my good, man. It's kids, man. Kids are awesome. Why ain't them kids in bed by now? Well, they're, they're going to bed now. They're having a sleepover, Shelby. Yeah, it's, it's like 10 o'clock here. Or, man. Or it's 11. That's that's like a that's like a that's like a form, that's a formative experience of childhood. Your first sleepover. Don't <laughs> hate on the kids. 
formative experiences. You got to let them learn and grow. Them. But I'm on the West Coast. Yeah, he's on the West Coast, man. It's not even that late. Sheesh. Is there anything nice you want to say, Shelby? Hey, thank you all. I appreciate everything. It's been a great night. Um, like I always say, you know, the best of the community is always right here with the Gorilla Todd Bonanza auction comic book thingy. So, um, remember, Todd and I will be together uh, on Wednesday and uh, every Saturday. So, that's my lot in life. <laughs> but seriously, guys, people, ladies, beasts, vampires, werewolves, robots, ninjas, Geju, whatever you are, thank you for hanging out. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, please, Gorilla, smash the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Subscribe up to everybody on the panel. Follow them on Instagram. They all got good deals. They're all finding different books. You know, and it's all good stuff because, man, all I could do is look in a comic buyer's guide when I was a kid and look at handwritten ads that where I had to mail a check away and then wait like six to four months to get a comic book. And it, it was... Yeah, yeah, it was just a different world. But now we wait that long for CBC. Yeah, yeah it's totally yeah, different it. world. But hey, I finally get my you know, Ultimate uh, Four next week. What's that? I finally get my Ultimate Fallout Four next week after oh, nice. over eight months of CGC. Wow, wow. Yeah, I got some. I got like four Micronaut number ones signed by Michael Golden out at CGC. And I got a couple of Arthur Spam books out of them. They're just whatever. Whenever. What's but, the grade you got, Jalen? Oh, I don't know. I haven't looked it up yet. I don't want to look till I get it. Oh. <laughs> I want to be either really really surprised or very he wants, disappointed. He wants to be really happy or really sad. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. But hey, guys, that everybody in the chat, thank you. Have a good night. I will see you. Shoot, I'm going to try and do a drawing show tomorrow. I got to reach out to Kevin and some other people. I'm such a bad planner, but hey, maybe we'll make it happen. Um, and then uh, Tuesday, maybe, maybe not a preview show, probably not. Wednesday, definitely an auction. Thursday, Teacher's Lounge. And then Saturday, Saturday, Comic Bonanza. And Sunday, the drawing show. I think I'm just going to call it the drawing show. I just I may have just named it. But have a good night. Until we meet next time for more Gorilla Todd goodness, thank you and be good.